Hello, welcome under the table. We are an NGA TTRPG actual play stream. And tonight we are playing A Fistful of Darkness, which is a Forged in the Dark hack. And I'm your host and GM for tonight, Keith. Uh, with me are some very good friends. Let's start with Guilty. Hello, I am one of Keith's very good friends. It makes me so happy whenever he describes us that way. <laughs> Um, it, it might also just be though that he's like trying to butter us up before he tosses us out of the frying pan and into the fire. Anyway, I'm guilty. I am Tallulah. Tallulah is a um, a cell sword. If the sword were a gun, um, but she has traded her life of adventure for hanging out with her family in their time of need and. Um, Things have not gotten any smoother since she came back. So like, you know, that decision may have actually backfired, but we're making it work. Nice. Uh, Tim, tell us about yourself and your character. Hey, oh, I'm muted. And Tim, um, I, uh, yeah, uh, I'm very excited to play a little bit more of a, Jeremiah, uh, the scout, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm the oldest sibling. I uh, take care of the rest of these hooligans, in spite of their best efforts to make sure I can't. And uh, I now have a fun new stigma, so that's exciting. <laughs> uh, and then let's go to Liv playing Josephine. Hi, everybody. I'm Liv. I'll be playing Josephine. Um the most competent the most together and the self-proclaimed leader of the family even if for some fucking weird reason nobody else sees it that way but it wouldn't be the first time everybody's mistaken <laughs> next um alex playing nico hello everyone i am playing nico i'm here to not be the voice of reason but the voice of like reasonably helpful for me you know um and also like you know trying to make sure that my um what's the link for make sure the roof under my head doesn't crumble so like you know keeping things <laughs> as orderly as, as they need to be as they need to be nice uh john tell us about yourself and your character baxter Hi, I'm mm -hmm. John. Uh, I play Baxter, who is a child inventor willing to try to play with things that he definitely shouldn't be playing with in order to achieve uh, technological advancement over his rival uh, and solve the food crisis. I promise it's for a good reason. We want to feed everyone. Uh, recently, I discovered that the, the corruption responds well to human blood. And I'm excited to continue to play with that and figure out how that goes and how we can use that going forward. Uh, yeah. Nice, nice. Uh, speaking of corruption, let's uh, let's do a little recap. Um, uh, as we said, both Baxter and Jeremiah uh, suffered some stigma uh, last session. Uh, Jeremiah started receiving visions of a sort while Baxter manifested some sort of corruption, though that hasn't uh, come to light fully yet. We have talked about it, yet, uh, though, so hopefully we can uh, see more of that in the upcoming episodes. Um, additionally, the high amount of doom uh, created by the Sparrow family um, awakened the Black Queen, who resides in the mythical Sixth Walking City, at the center of the Duskwood, uh, which is a, a massive forest of corrupted trees. Um, focusing more on the family, uh, before they left Jericho, uh, Josephine was questioned by the Grand Commander of Jericho about her involvement in the tornado that destroyed a quarter of the city. Uh, thankfully for Josephine, she was able to throw the Grand Commander off her trail 
um, and uh, basically hide her involvement in that situation. Um, also, we saw Tallulah looking over some bodies uh, in the morgue and noting a few oddities in their injuries, while Jeremiah and uh, the good Dr. Uh, uh, Listallion uh, were shown uh, concluding a personal sort of deal. When they got back to Terrapin's Gulch, uh, the people who needed it uh, sought medical attention and also indulged in their vices. Um, Nico and Josephine uh, had a little game of cat and mouse uh, as Nico tried to sneakily um, replace the textbook that he had stolen from Josephine's uh, shelves while Josephine tried in vain to figure out where the hell Nico was, was hiding in her room. Uh, unfortunately, she could not find him, but she knows. She knows. Um, speaking of Nico, uh, he and Tulula had a nice heart-to-heart um, in the uh, the Sparrow family barn. Um, they, t- they talked about love and Nico's prospective uh, fiance from the family Crawford, who uh, the Sparrows uh, sort of don't like very much maybe our rivals of generally um also we saw baxter experiment with some uh, corrupted antlers and he found connection between them and human blood uh he eventually took this and and a few other um of his research equipment and notes to the uh the shaded leaf which was the um <clears throat> the cafe owned and operated by the Mechanists Guild. Uh, That's where he met Drixel Hubbard, who very graciously and very generously offered to pay for Baxter's uh, entrance fee and continuing uh, membership fee in the Shaded Leaf. Um, Then we cut to Jeremiah and uh, the good doctor Listallion. Uh, As Jeremiah introduced her to some of the members that he knew, in um, uh, Salvation's Gift. Um, During this meeting, uh, Jeremiah overheard that uh, the doctor was looking for a specific material or a specific artifact. Though when he confronted her about it, uh, Dr. Lestallion was recalcitrant uh, about telling him about exactly what she was looking for. Um, let's see. Uh, Tula's contact within the knitting circle, uh, old lady Myrtle, uh, offered the Sparrow family, uh, uh, a bit of, a, an olive branch. Uh, they offered them, uh, uh, association status with the knitting circle. If the, uh, five younger Sparrows are able to do a favor for them, uh, this favor includes rescuing a uh, one Bolton Trine from the uh, the second platoon of the city militia, uh, the second platoon, a.k.a. the Nest Breakers, uh, the captain of which uh, is Tulula's rival, Candace Crawford. Um, so after a few shenanigans and after discussing their plan of attack, Uh, The younger Sparrows decided that half of them, well, Josephine, Nico, and Baxter, would go rescue uh, Sergeant Bolton, 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 uh, from his captivity, while Tallulah and Jeremiah relieved Captain Crawford of her two signature swords, Salt and Sorrow. And when we uh, left off the last uh, episode, you guys rolled a six on your engagement roll. And so um, the camera opens up with the five of you uh, outside of the, uh, uh, the, the defensive line of the military camp where Sergeant Bolton is being held. And Jeremiah lays out um, the the configuration of the camp, um, and this he knows because he's worked uh, he's worked for the scouts, which is a different platoon of the militia. 
And so he knows how, generally, how uh, military camps are, are laid. And um, you all know that uh, beyond the initial uh, uh, defensive line, which is made up of um, partially buried uh, spikes in the ground, um, are the tents that hold uh, all the soldiers assigned to the, uh, the platoon. And then beyond that ring is the uh, ring of civilians, basically the, the chefs, the uh, mechanics, uh, entertainers, etc., cetera, uh, who see the different, um, uh, different needs of the soldiers and the equipment uh, within the platoon. And at its center are, f- are four tents, the biggest of which is the, the mess hall. This is where everyone in the camp uh, goes to eat and socialize. Um, the next biggest is the quartermaster's tent, which is basically where all of the um, the like various equipments, like um, weapons, armor, um, I don't know, like gears, whatever, whatever it is you need, uh, that's where that's stored. Um, the third biggest is the um, the uh, 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 auto- automatons uh, stables. Basically, this is where the um, the uh, 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 mechanical horses and other like uh, pack animals are kept and um, uh, retrofitted uh, whenever they need to be. And the fourth tent, the smallest, is the captain's tent. And with this foreknowledge, uh, uh, all five of you are able to sneak in uh, through the first two layers of the camp and into the, the center where the, the four main tents lie um, silently and, and without notice from any of the, um, the, uh, the guards uh, patrolling the area. Um, Jeremiah and Tulula, you split off and go towards uh, Captain Crawford's tent. While Baxter, Nico, and Josephine, um, you guys decide where you want to start looking for um, Sergeant Bolton. Um, I will say that you assume that he's probably not in the mess hall. Well, boy genius, where do you think he is? Oh. Nico, I think she was addressing you. <laughs> I mean, I can roll a die and we can guess. You know, I, um, well, it's pretty obvious that he's not going to be anywhere near the, um, the core constituents of the camp. You wouldn't want someone who's subversive to be anywhere near your critical infrastructure. So I would look for something towards the outside of camp, something a little more risky, something that they could, you know, tolerate a loss of. Uh, tolerate and I think, a loss? Wouldn't you try to keep your prisoner nice and held up in the middle would you rather sacrifice a prisoner or one of your soldiers so Mm. i think baxter is going to look around and try to find a building that fits kind of like this more prisoner type holding something that's maybe not cared for as carefully um has some some loose edges as it were um and so i'd like to i'd like to run a survey for that sure see if i can is anyone helping? No. Are you pushing yourself, Baxter? Actually, I'll help. Nico's got good eyes. you get i am trying a new thing so hold on one second i have technical difficulty Uh-oh. i am out of town at the moment so i am so Ooh, are you rolling uh on mobile on my phone yes i figured it out um Ooh. so are we uh controlled standard or risky standard this is controlled or- standard um would you like to push yourself you're already being helped by nika no, I don't. I think I think help is sufficient. Okay. Nico, are you giving me a die? Or are you improving my odds? I mean, it's your choice. <laughs> but I think that at this moment, I think that giving an extra die is good. That's not a bad idea. 
four. What'd you get? Five. A five. Ooh, double fives. Um. Hmm. What gives Do I get extra point? points because they're they're mashing? No, no. Only if it's two sixes. Oh. That's a crit. Um. Let's see. I think what you oh. notice, Baxter, is that the um the the tent where all the automatons, the automa uh, 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 automatons, the mechanical horses are being kept, is weirdly um lively. Like none of the um none of the horses are silent. Which you know the um, the mechanics would probably put them into sleep mode um, when they're not really being in use. But you also know that if there's anyone around them, the uh, automatons have this automatic um, uh, uh, like they're automatic. They're, they've been designed to automatically stay awake or be active, basically. See, so kind of like an auto on feature, like mm -hmm. when you walk in a room and lights mm -hmm. turn on. Mm -hmm. You know, I think, um, Nico, you got a good point. I, I, we want to look for something a little out of the ordinary, something that we wouldn't expect. So, you know, you'll want to look around and he kind of does a look. Well, you know, you see the, the stables are, are still running. Um, that's kind of odd. I don't see anyone else around there. Why would they leave those horses on if they, uh, if they weren't around? I mean, you got a good point. We can try to check that out. It's a good starting point, at least. Miss Josephine, you got any input? No, let's go. Yes, ma'am. So you guys go in. Um, the uh, the mechanical horses um, they seem fine. They're they're just like uh, pawing the earth and acting like horses. Um, but in the furthest stall. You see someone has like, um, someone is occupying it instead of uh, there being a, an automaton uh, within it. He is, he has very white hair. He is, uh, he looks to be around 70, 75, something like that. Um, his back is to you, but you see that the sleeves of his uniform from the elbow down are covered in dried blood. And when he turns uh, at your at your the sound of your footsteps, you see his face is covered in like soot and like a whole bunch of dirt, except for two matching tracks of tears running down his cheeks. And in a broken voice he says, Who are you? Who are and you? with that Let's cut to the other team of Tulula and Jeremiah. Uh, Y'all are able to sneakily get into the captain's tent. Um, it's uh, it's pretty Spartan. Go ahead. Are we going straight in? I don't. I didn't want to go straight in. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm all ears. What's up? Um. I mean, <laughs> Candace is a pretty light sleeper. Um, I think Baxter had a good idea there of, well, not good, but potentially useful idea of drawing her away. That, um, that stable's right next door, isn't it? Uh, real quick, you did see Baxter, Nico, and Josephine walk into the stables. Does she care? They got legs. They can run. Great question. Great question. Ooh, we, we, I don't think you want. We, we're just we're the distraction. We're we're just supposed to get their attention. We're we're supposed to get whose attention? The camps. Yeah. If, if we create a diversion, then the kids can go get the guy. I, I <laughs> pull out a um. A cute little explosive from my bag. Like, I'm ready to make a diversion. That's a great location. Oh, 
So what's the question? Well, do you want to chuck it or shall I? I think you'd enjoy it. I would indeed. And I will light this up and throw it into the stables. Wait, 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 wait. You really, you did see Baxter, Nico, and Josephine walk into the stables. Yeah, I'll, Is... I'll give them a little whistle. You, you, okay. And then lob it in. You also like heard them. Like they just walked in. You also heard them try to logic out where this prisoner would be. What? No, we had separated by then. Just let her kill us, Keith. Just let her kill us. This is what we've all been wanting. Just let her kill us. <laughs> Fuck it. Okay. If I see a bunch of automaton horses, I'm gonna try and destroy them. Okay. A chance to reset my stigma. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I I agree with that. I'm just like, would Wait, would Tallulah oh. put her family members in jeopardy like this? It's not gonna immediately go boom. Like they're gonna have time to get out of the way. If we were just together, then they can see me when I when I whistle at them. I. I'm sorry. I think, if you, Jeremiah, you look, I think if Jeremiah saw the direction you were throwing that in, I don't I don't think he would let you blow up Nico, Josephine, and Baxter. Go ahead and roll for it, big boy. Let right. her kill us. Just let her kill us. It's called character development, baby. Yeah, it's called developing new characters, baby. Uh, let her kill the <laughs> hostage that she <laughs> wants to rescue to maintain a good relationship with the old ladies. Sure. Also, I don't know I... they're in there. Sh we went I... there thinking they would be in there. <laughs> we had already split up. <laughs> Our job was to find this person. <laughs> Why would he be in a fucking stable? I will wait, wait, wait. When wait, we wait, walked wait, away, y'all were saying, "Oh yeah, he's probably out at the edges." I will, I will, worth... I will support guilty in this. I don't know or think Tallulah would have heard that. I also support Tim and Jeremiah would be her ass before he let Tallulah blow up the stable they just walked into. I think yeah. could be true. Which is fine. Roll to take it away from me. <laughs> I, I, think, I think we need an answer, Keith. Do we know where they are or not? No, you guys have seen Baxter, Nico, and Josephine walk into the stable. Oh, yeah. For fuck's sake, I'm going to roll they, for interception. They just <laughs> walked in. So I will whistle first to be like, hey, heads up. And I think I think as you do, uh, Jeremiah turns and looks at you. The fuck you? No. Well, you want me to give them five seconds? Fine. Man, you pick a different fucking build. What What are you doing? This is the best one. Just get, let them. Let them. I'll, I'll make you a deal. To I get it. You don't like the fucking things in there, but why don't you give them a minute? They can search it. If If our boy's not in there, you can. Make all the fires you need. One minute. All right, Baxter, Nico, Josephine, you have one action. Do yeah. we see this? Like, no. I don't think we do. I mean, Tallulah <laughs> whistled at you no. with the dynamite in her hand. As we walk in, uh huh. Just to make sure I fully understand what is happening. Yes. Tulu looked us dead in the eyes as we walked into this tent holding a dynamite with the get the fuck out of there whistle. Uh -huh. Really quick, thank you to Sierra Echo and your 27 months of subscription. Ooh. Wow, maybe we'll celebrate with a, a TPK. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> Josephine I think... Oh, go ahead. Or no, go ahead. You, go no, ahead, no, go you ahead. first, please. Oh, I already went. Oh, okay. So yeah, Josephine hears this whistle. No, I don't think she sees. Maybe I think she's like at the stable door. Just knows that that's a bad sign. Um, looks at the guy. You, you Belton. Yeah. Belton. All right, we're here to get you out. Don't ask questions. Let's just go. Leave me. Because... Excuse me. Leave me. I'm guilty. I did it. Yeah, but that so ain't our job. I didn't, 
listen, I did not ask, nor do I care about your personal feelings. I said, we get out of here. So pack it up. Let's go. No. I think, um, can I? Baxter reaches in. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Nico. Uh, I was going to roll disable to pick his lock while this conversation is happening. Oh, do we want to do that? If he doesn't want to come with us, we want him tied up. His I'm picking his lock. I'm not untying him. On the stable, oh. the stable door, yeah. Ah, I see. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I assume he's locked up. Sorry, I thought you meant the like, the cuffs. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. uh, his his wrists are tied to his ankles, and the stable doors are locked. Yeah. Nico, unlock the door. I can, I can carry him out because we are leaving, sir. He is like right, what's. He's like crawling towards the other corner of the room. Um, your positioning is controlled standard. Uh, does anyone want to help Nico here? Um. Y- yes, but I'm trying to figure out how I would. Um. You know what? No, Nico's got this. He's this I is think... his thing. Yeah. Do yeah. you want to push yourself, Nico? No, I got a five. Okay. <laughs> Nice. Um, yeah, you do it. You open the lock. Um, you feel it like start to vibrate, like almost squeak as you like start to push the door open. But like you, you stop and you go a little bit slower so that the squeak is like low and um, uh, a little bit more diffuse and masked. And so uh, y'all are able to get in. But um, the sergeant seems to be trying to make it as difficult as possible for y'all to get a handle on him. That's fine. Josephine's going to reach into her bag and pull out some of her arcane ingredients. And she's basically going to pull out what looks like um, a coaster of glass. She's mm-hmm. going to toss it up, snap her fingers, and it's going to like fly beneath him and expand to one of the, like the little, the way that I tried to do it earlier, but was not very successful. <laughs> nice, <laughs> um, nice. But a little like um, I feel a little like a floating palette, disc. Yeah, yeah, floating disc. But I do think she's going to try to also make bars come up, so it's a little floating prison. <laughs> <laughs> this man wants to be locked up so bad. I can do that for him. Um, this is Free? this is risky standard because he's actively trying to avoid this disc. That's fine. Since I'm using one of my arcane ingredients, does that change anything? Uh, okay, yeah, this is a uh, risky great. Also, does anyone okay. want to help? And are you pushing yourself, or do you want a devil's bargain? If I push myself, um, what does that like? How much grit do I take? You take two grit. And you can choose to make it um, controlled great or uh, add a die. I'd like okay. to help. I Okay, here's my idea for how you help, how I help. Mm-hmm. You're, you, okay, if I may set a scene. You're like, yes. all right, fine, we won't do anything. And then you like toss your thing on the ground and I just like, kick it towards him. Sure, mm. totally. <laughs> totally perfect. Okay, cool. So I will change it to controlled great then. Okay. It's already great, pushing, isn't it? It is. Oh, great, it's risky. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, but you are pushing yourself, so you can add a die to that as well. Cool. Wait, well, you're pushing yourself and I'm helping you? You can do both, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. You we are trying to get this man's out. You just can't take a devil's bargain and uh, receive help. I got a six, baby. Nice. Yeah, mm-hmm. you do it. Um, he is very uh, angry about this. Uh, uh, he is starting to like cry again, and he is um, he is actively like kicking or like uh, uh, shoving at the uh, the bars of this glass prison. But you all are able to get him out. Uh, I seal it. I seal it so it's more of like a glass cylindrical, and I seal it on top so I can't hear him cry. Um, wow! <laughs> that man in a magical trash can. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she did. 
Um, it's in a glass like... cage of emotion. <laughs> um, and I take out my Bolton's rod. So I, like... <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I take out my rod so I can like control it. I'm like, all right, boys, saddle up. We're li- we're rolling out. Let's go. Oh, Zekril does have a good point. Let's go. Zekril does have a good point. Does he have air in there? Fine. I cr- I pop a few holes on top. Okay. Okay. A few. <laughs> Y'all, I think we should um, we should take one of these. Um, and he points at one of the the horses and is like, you know, we could really use a getaway machine. Your sister will kill you and then me. No. Then the horse. All right, Jeremiah. 59, <laughs> 60. Lake All right, let's go. We're out. <laughs> We're running. I don't see him come out. Just give it a minute. Yeah, they start running out. Man, oh, there they are. Yeah. They run out with a man in a cage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, look, they found him. <laughs> this is all gone swimmingly. All right. Here goes nothing. And I think as she throws it, Jeremiah dips into the shadows behind her and says, Tula, we need to talk when you get home. And then he just disappears <laughs> if he can. Nice, nice. Uh, Tula, what? Wait, talking. What? What skill are you rolling here? Uh, brawl. No, sling. Sling. Can I? Yeah, I'd like. Let me let me make sure it's applicable. But yeah, throw a blade, throw a lasso. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna sling it. Um. I light hmm. this stick of dynamite in my hand, and try and chuck it like right into the center of that tent. Okay. Um, this is, this is risky standard. Got it. I will push myself. Would anyone like to help Tallulah? Or Tallulah, would a fucking like to chance, so. take a devil's <laughs> bargain? Let me hear you bargain, devil. Um... The forest blooms. The forest blooms? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's awful. <sighs> Who gets splattered all over the forest, Keith? No. Like actual flowers. Flowers bloom in the forest. Oh. No, that's terrifying. I don't want your flowers with teeth. Thank you. Um, I'm going to keep it at risky standard and add myself a bonus dice. Okay. The worst Borjo Keith painting. I was not a fan of that one. Two, a three, and a four. A four. So I guess nice. that's a mixed success. Um, you do it. The uh, the the dynamite with its short fuse uh, rolls right through the open flap, just as Baxter, Nico, Josephine, and their captive uh, make it through. Um. It detonates, uh, destroying the engines of the automatic horses inside. Unfortunately, the increased um, oomph to the blast from those exploding engines ends up shattering the prison that uh, Josephine had put uh, Balton into. So the man has, has come out and it's starting to like roll away from your group. Just the Lola, as, what the fuck? <laughs> just as uh, voices are raised around the camp, uh, voices of alarm. I'm gonna slip into the shadows, um, following Jeremiah, and try and like stay right up at the edge of the captain's tent and wait for her to come out. All right. Um, Baxter, Nico, Josephine, what are you guys doing? I'm fucking livid, and I'm just, like, as I'm pulling out more arcane ingredients to figure this shit out, not only does she fucking sit me, sit me to babysit and do all the hard work while her and Jeremiah do their own fuck shit, now she's ruined my entire part of the operation. Hard uh, work? How are you going to pick that lock? I think while they were, um, they're bickering, Baxter just takes his big, heavy, six-weight bag and slams it over uh, the sergeant's head. Trying to knock him out, Baxter. Wow, Baxter. All right, look how look how the young ones have grown. That's my boy. What 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 skill are you using, Baxter? 
I want to use disable for this. Disable, let's read that. I don't want to permanently harm him, just make it so that he can't escape and is completely immobilized and silenced. Okay, um... Passed out. Yeah, so this is... This is Risky Limited. I think that, um... Yeah, he's he's moving around so much, and there's, like, so much commotion around you. It's, like, hard to swing your... Plus, you're, like, swinging a bag at him. It wasn't really meant for that. Um, it's full of heavy shit, though. But, like, how do you how do you control the arc of a bag? I don't know. I've never swung a bag at someone. Maybe, maybe if never? you had... <laughs> You have to like rear. You gotta like let. You gotta the... get your you momentum. Have to have into more conversation about your high school years. <laughs> <laughs> we cannot. Listen, um, we was, cannot. He, he was swinging something, have... but it wasn't bags. <laughs> do you have a devil's bargain for me? Because I know they ain't helping. Um. For the first time, Baxter sees seasons. That's just a re- this poet asshole over here is just rewriting what he told guilty. You really want those flowers, don't you? He really wants them flowers. Um Look, oh it's God. the it's the effect of the setting. Y'all, what do you think? The flowers could be extra chaos. So Knock obviously the answer out. is no. Knock this man out, John. I believe we're like nine tenths of the way to a second rider in like five minutes, so you do whatever you need to do. We're talking about have another rider. I think I'm just gonna push myself then. <laughs> risky, sta- uh, risky is, limited. You said risky limited. Is anyone uh, helping Baxter? I mean, um, Josephine and Nico are fighting, so I, I don't know. <laughs> fighting, and we have tension because like. I know you saw me, you know you saw me, but neither of us is acknowledging it. I'm gonna, That's true. Up, I'm gonna upgrade. You know what? Okay, Keith, I want your deal. Um, I'm ah! gonna upgrade the standard and take a die. Perfect, yeah. I got a six. Nice. Um, you, you like, try and try again. Um... Mark, just bludgeoning him? No, you miss though. Each time you miss, oh. he's just like a hair's <laughs> breadth away from your bag. Each time, mark off um, two items as you hear something break. Some things break in your pack. Uh, sorry, two There's two loads. Yeah, yeah. Um, How was that not the devil's bargain? And yeah. as you as you straighten. You see something you've never seen before. In all your life, all of the corrupted trees you've ever seen have only ever had leaves. Now you can see their leaves falling from their branches, uh, turning their silhouettes skeletal. And just as quickly as all the leaves have fallen, flowers bloom on these empty branches. And just as soon as all of them have bloomed, their petals fall and more leaves sprout in their place. And then the leaves fall in the blink of an eye and then flowers bloom. And when they fall, more more leaves uh, populate these branches and over and over and over again in a blinding cycle. This is happening all around you. And the pe- the soldiers in this camp are justifiably terrified. No one has ever seen this ever. But I succeed. Ooh. He's knocked out, right? No, you rolled a six. Uh, Vindica wait, Sean wait, has six. Good. Six oh, is... oh, that's the best. I yeah. Sorry, did the sorry. Best I could do. I'm so sorry. I'm thinking of. So you were just high on your own words. Yeah. yeah and no, you were just like ready like to get off the words. I already you're right. know he's going to fail. So. You're right. You're right. Like, what yeah, um... eldritch creature is this man? So do we want to rewind a bit, maybe? 
Uh, no, 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 no. You needed so, at least a 10 to hit him, okay? <laughs> so so regain those um, lost uh, load points, Baxter, please. Oh, I apologize. I, I was sitting up. here, I was like, um. <laughs> I totally fucked up. I apologize. No. Um, and yeah, you, you bludgeon this man uh, uh, into unconsciousness with your heavy ass bag. Yeah. Yeah, with, my, with my with my Josephine load, Misnik- can I just can I mark the remaining two of my items as the useful item being the, the body of this man who <laughs> carried him? You can't get him inside your backpack. No no no, I'm gonna drop the rest of my bag and just carry him. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, you could do that. Um okay. I do like Vindica's oh. naming of this as a blizzard of blooming. Uh, Tallulah, Jeremiah, uh, you guys are hidden. Let's see how well you're hiding. <laughs> Would you like this to be a uh, a group action? Or do you guys want to go individually? Oh, fuck that. Jeremiah's mad as hell right now. Wow. <laughs> so as soon as Tallulah starts to get close, <laughs> as soon as Tallulah starts to get close, Jeremiah like moves away. Yeah. I, th- I think I think Jeremiah is actively hiding from Tallulah as well. Wow. Okay, well, Bobby. I will all roll my own prowl then. Okay. Stay in the shadows. What are we? Um, risky standard. This is yeah. This is a risky standard. Going for it. It's a five. Nice. I got a six. Nice, nice. Always. Um, yeah, to Lily, you try to find Jeremiah, but he's just like, you don't know where he went. Um, can I use a th- can I use a, a flashback here, Keith? How does that sure. work? Sure. Yeah. What okay, What would you like to see? I would like to see what um, our friend Miss Crawford looks like and how closely Tulula could possibly resemble her. <laughs> Tulula, tell us what your rival looks like. Gosh, I don't know. Um, give me some characteristics, and I'll pull shit up. Have we seen any of the Crawfords? Yeah, you Just guys one. have seen Archibald. Yeah, yeah we saw. Oh, uh, well, what yeah. did Archibald look like? He was bald. He had a um, he had like a what's it called? An eagle nose, you know, with like the the bump here. Oh yeah, the Roman nose. Yeah, the mm-hmm. Roman nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but other than that, yeah, I mean, Tallulah definitely thought of Candace as like her big sister growing up. Um, I don't know if they look similar at all, but I think she's got like brown hair. I think it's she kept it long, so Tallulah kept hers long. Um, just like an athletic sort of like picks things up and moves some other places build. Um, so probably like meatier than Tallulah. Um, but Tallulah's pretty rough, right? Huh? Tula's pretty tough. She's, she's gotta be dense. Yeah, but she's she's more like wiry, I'd say. Dex versus strength. Yeah. Is she the um the antagonist from The Last of Us Two? What is her name? <laughs> um. What what? What's her name. I'm trying to look it up. I don't know. Does is chat she? Know? Two. Oh, Abby, Abby Anderson from Last of Us Two. Anyway, I think I think Jeremiah has like a little kit that looks. That's one of his three three loadout things. Is he has a little kit that has enough in it to make Tallulah look like. <laughs> And he just, he just from nowhere in the back of the woods, chucks that at Tula's feet. Jesus fucking. 
What is this? What am I supposed to do with this? And as you whisper that, some soldiers go running past. And when you guys look up, you see the forest explode in this weird growth, this cycle of growth. I think as soon as they run past Jeremiah, is this as a as an attempt, like this opportunity to try and sneak into the tent. Nice. Yeah, you do it. You got a six. Tulula. Um, I'll grab the shoe polish or whatever he threw at me, and like take a couple quick swipes through my hair, pull it back, and follow. All right. Yeah, you guys get in. Um, the tent is empty. Uh, but Spartan. Uh, uh, there's not much ornamentation here. There's a pretty flimsy looking uh, fold up desk and similarly looking uh, fold out uh, chairs with a cot in the corner and a um, kind of an ancient looking steamer chest at its foot. You know, we're going to pop that open. Yeah, I'm going to drop on my stomach first, though, and, like, look under the bed. Uh, It is a cot. You can see uh, underneath it without really having to do that. She doesn't have anything good under there? No. I want to look between the mattress and the, um, that part. So, so a a cot is basically a a piece of uh, cloth. Uh, strung up between uh, two pieces of crossed w- uh, like crossed wood like this. Maybe you mean a hammock. No, no, a cot. Cot. Okay. Oh, That's what a cot is. <laughs> okay. Yeah, here. Um, I Semantics. <laughs> Did we... Is I just want to check if she's hidden anything under the mattress. Nothing. Nothing that you okay. can see. Yeah, yeah. All right, then yeah, I'll um, rejoin Jeremiah looking at the chest. Cool. As you guys are doing that, let's cut back to the uh, outside. Um, Nico has uh, Balton in his arms. What are you guys doing? We're leaving. Everyone's agreed. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I assume that we're we're heading towards our 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 way out. Yeah. Are you guys especially because trying... everybody's freaked out by whatever just happened? So we're out. <laughs> are you guys trying to be sneaky at all, um, John? You are. Are we still in the camp? Yeah, you're. Still yeah, we camp. are. I guess. I was gonna. Say, I think we're trying to be fast. I think Although we're trying we, to be there fast. Is, there has been an explosion, right? There and the forest and the forest has done so people are things. dazed and confused we're moving like, fast I, I imagine I we're moving think... relatively quickly but also keeping our eyes peeled yeah y'all let's let's go through the camp everyone's going to be looking outside the camp and look at this look at this forest okay we can go through the camp our, our our ride home's that way yeah, but if we try to cross on the outside of camp, everyone's going to be looking at us. We're moving, boys. And I just, like, start pushing them through the camp. Okay. What are you guys rolling to, to do this quickly? Team and action, this... maybe? Sorry? Yeah. Is this a group roll? I believe so. I mean, would it be... Okay. Let me see. One second. Would it be Prowl? I imagine Prowl. Do you think? Um. What do you think? Because like we're trying to we're trying to find the best route through here to get back to our our ornithopter, right? I mean, Prowl is really the only thing that I can see that works with movement. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. All right, I'm in. All right, I have one Prowl. What about the rest, of y'all? I have one. Zero. Who is okay. leading? Josephine. I uh, think. I'll lead. Oh no, Nico can lead. Okay. I've only spent two grit, so I can I can take the hits. Uh, is anyone pushing themselves? Would y'all like a devil's bargain? No. Tell us your sorcery. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> You're outvoted. 
These are my die. Um, You're not rolling, bestie. It's a group action. No, group we action all is everywhere. Here. Everyone rolls. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay. okay. Everyone rolls, and then however many uh, fails, uh, Nico takes that many crit. Oh, okay. I see. Um, let's see. What's and I'm right? willing to take the non-Devil's Bargain version of this roll. Oh, I just want to hear his good. hear his words, you know? Uh-huh. <laughs> um, oh. You afraid of ideas now, Nico? <laughs> we, is that Nico, what we're calling it? I am. Captain Crawford makes an appearance. Oh, fuck no. Um... <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> what are we rolling? Prowl, it seems. Yes, no, no, like no. Risky. All our positions. Um, hmm. This is desperate standard. Okay. There's like so much going on right now. I got a five. I got a six. Nice. I got a four. Okay, so full success. Uh, Nico, you don't take any uh, grit. Nice. Um, Yeah, everyone in the camp is fully uh, terrified. You see most of them were inside of the mess hall celebrating um, their their success. Uh, uh, Just as a reminder, the nest breakers were sent out to destroy a particularly... Um, a large group of accursed butterflies in the woods. Um, so they and were cool celebra- that's about. Yeah, they were celebrating uh, before y'all showed up. And now that the forest has gone insane, uh, everyone is running towards their tents and trying to strap all their equipment on um, because they justifiably assume that something bad is coming. Um, so in the in the hubbub, all of you look like you're just uh, more soldiers or uh, civilians trying to do the same as everyone else. Um, so you are able to get to the edge of the camp, uh, uh, to the uh, uh, the the line of stakes, basically, um, without being noticed or, or stopped. But beyond this you see um, there are shadows moving within the forest. And as you as you keep watching, you see there are, it looks like rivers of sand floating in the air between all of the trees and through all of the branches. It's not like a, it's not like a harsh uh, sand, um, sandstorm sort of thing it's like it's like a flowing river it's like stately and majestic and above this river you see their shadows moving and when one of them dips down you can see it's uh its skin is is rough and craggly like uh um like a tree bark trees bark and its eyes glow uh, the way that uh, phosphorescent mushrooms glow, bioluminescent mushrooms glow. And then it rises up back into the river of sand, and you hear strange noises coming through the trees. Back to Tallulah and Jeremiah. You guys have opened this trunk at the foot of uh, the captain's cot. Uh, I will need a, a roll here if uh, you are trying to look for something in particular. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, Jeremiah, how are your wits? Oh, not pretty good. Not very good at all. All uh, right, I will survey the contents of this trunk. Okay. I will help. Nice. Would you like a devil's bargain? No. No. No, 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 no. no. You don't <laughs> do that anymore. <laughs> Did you hear that, John? <laughs> no, I uh, I went deaf for a moment. I just couldn't hear. <laughs> are we risky standard? Um, Yeah, you guys are risky standard. Fun. Take a bonus dive. 
Crit, baby. Double sixes. Double six. Thank nice. you, Tim. Twin Is that magic. first crit? Nice, nice. Huh. I hate that it's on this. <laughs> what do we what do we see here? So this is a uh, you're you're gaining information here, so I can't really like give you much, but because you get a crit, um I will say that both of you can um erase one crit. Thanks. As you guys like take a breather here within like this tent away from all the chaos outside. Um but um Mostly, it's uh, it's it's Captain Crawford's like uh, personal effects, her uh, like a change of clothes, um, uh, some certificates from, you know, whatever commendation or whatever. But you do find a daguerreotype uh, taken of the uh, entire Crawford family. Um, uh, first, people who don't know, a daguerreotype is like an early form of the photograph. Um, Derogotype. Oh, is that how you say it? Derogatory? I, I might be wrong. Maybe I've just read it. So you find this picture of the uh, the Crawford family, and basically everyone is in it. And um, Captain Crawford is uh, fairly prominent on one side of the picture, and she is standing. And you can see she is wearing both of her uh, signature sabers, salt and sorrow and if you look closely enough you can see there is a chain linking their um their handles to her wrists for both of them for both swords well it looks like this got a lot less fun all of a sudden um i'm sorry there's a chain linking what so at the at the pommel of both of her sabers yeah. Uh, there is a chain running between the saber and one of her wrists. So there's a chain. They're both chained to her two wrists. Well, I guess this was a fruitless moment, he says, and he like unzips his pants and starts relieving himself into the into the uh, <laughs> chest. And he's like, so, I mean... I, I turn around and I start inspecting other things in the room. Um, it's, it's pretty spare. Uh, all you find are the, the cot, the, a table and a pair of chairs. Uh, Jeremiah, sorry. Nothing on the table. Um, oh, actually. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. Um, on the table are a bunch of, on the table are a bunch of notes. And, Mm -hmm. um, if you read the notes, you find that, um, the platoon was hit by a monster of its attack before its its big battle. And among its casualties uh, were a few of its supplies, uh, food, water, ration, et cetera, like, like necessary supplies, basically. Uh, and you see a correspondence between the captain and the quartermaster, which says, um, we are already at half rations. We, um, we can't feed everyone enough uh, 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 to to get us back to the city and um, there's like a second correspondence from the quartermaster that says well I I suppose if if five people um, somehow decide not to, to, to give up their food every day we could do it and a final correspondence from the quartermaster. Are you certain we want to frame him for this? And you remember that uh, Balton's squad was made up of five people. Yeah. All right, then I'm going to pocket that and um, peek my head back out the tent to see if the coast is clear for us to leave. Um, you start to see these uh, rivers of sand, Tulula, and the strange shadows above them. Jeremiah, Jeremiah, put your dick away. Something weird's <laughs> happening. Oh, 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 sorry, I just had to go. I just seemed like a good time. I, no, it was a great place. It was a great place to go. But look at this. What the fuck is that? 
I don't know, but I tell you that boy had something to do with it. Uh, Keith, is there a blanket on the um, on the cot? Yeah, it's pretty thin. All right. He, he throws it over himself like a little hood and everything. He says, "Listen, remember, remember those guys from uh, from Jericho. Everything that happened that was on them. You are Captain Crawford." I'm a kite these fools. Just yell a lot. You're good at that. We just got to get out of here and get home. I don't know where she is. She could be right behind us for all we know. You or her. I'm trying to take the heat off us. Everybody's going to know we did this shit. How do they know it's us? The fuck? Who the fuck else would it be, Tallulah? This all ain't right. a big city. All right, all right, all right. Get out of my way, private! And I stride and, and, out of the tent. And and Jeremiah puts up his hood and starts scampering, like, really obviously, towards the wood line. And trying to, like, get as much attention as he can before he hits the woods. This seems like a roll. What are we rolling here? I don't know. And is it a quick uh, roll? I think it, this one is, yeah. yeah. Uh, is there, what is the... I guess it's sway. Yeah. Sway? Yeah, I think it's sway. I got one in sway. Do you have anything in sway? I got jack shit in sway. All right. Well, you can help. <laughs> All right, I'm helping. <laughs> All right, uh, Tulula, would you like to push yourself, or I guess that's all you can do. Yeah. I would like. I would like for this to work. Are you pushing yourself? Isn't there, isn't there something I can do to just make it succeed? Is that an ability that you have? There's a thing called no. Resist. There was a thing in the in the rule book that we talked about like last so, week. So so you do have to roll. If it turns out okay. badly, you can resist it. Ah. Mm -hmm. It's almost okay. like spending luck. Yeah, yeah. Um, then I'm gonna roll it. How does it cost grit to resist? It does cost grit to resist. Yeah. I'm gonna roll it flat to begin with. Then uh, Jeremiah did help you. Us. Okay. Uh, this is desperate, desperate standard, since you are disguised, Tulula. I'm going to bring it up to desperate great. No, desperate standard with a plus one. Okay. It's a four. Um, yeah, you do it. Everyone uh, is convinced of what is happening. Um, but just as the two of you start to run towards the tree line... <clears throat> The, uh, the rivers of sand above uh, turn into uh, certain parts, uh, start to spew sand downwards, kind of like a reverse geyser. And um, you see shadows pouring down that geyser, and you hear people trapped in that geyser scream as something happens to them. And then the sand is pulled back up into the flowing rivers, ab rivers above you, and those people who were covered in sand are gone. All that's left of them are just like splatters of blood on the ground. Um, and these things are starting to multiply. Baxter, Nico, Josephine, you see this happen behind you, but in front of you, there doesn't seem to be that many uh, uh, reverse geysers. Oh, although it is top of the hour. Let's uh, let's take our first break of the night. We'll see you soon. Uh, nothing bad is happening. It's it's all fine. Um, but there are there are weird rivers of sand flowing through this 
forest that's going through all four seasons in a very quick cycle, constantly. Um, so yeah, it's fine. Whatever. I like how sometimes your bargains are like, oh, you know, you fall on an extra trap. And sometimes it's like, oh, we'll just end the world right now. There were no, they're always that. John, you just don't know. Yeah. You just don't <laughs> see it the way we yet. see it. You don't see it from our side. <laughs> it's because he finds some of the world ending to be cute. <laughs> Interesting is probably, you know. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Is he going to say it? No. We'll save that for later. For the post show. Uh, good point. Good point. <laughs> I think anytime John says interesting, fascinating, remarkable, fantastic. <laughs> but was it cat? Was it, was it cat on um yeah. Finder who is like if someone says fascinating twice, you know they're evil? Yeah. Wait, didn't I say that? Did you? Wait. Mika also said that no? last time. I, I think I, it was uh, it was Devin who did our, our music. I have said that recently. In like a weird parallel thinking thing, then it must be true. It might just be. It also listen. We do oh, no. listen. Yes, I, think I said it... that when I was watching Flavor of Love. I think <laughs> <laughs> it's canon. Then it can only be canon. No. Also, like, forgive us. We love every single game that we play, in, but we do play in with a lot of games. <laughs> Yeah, we do. I've been making it worse this week, but thank you. Yeah, y'all should oh, check wait. out Should we Guilty's... do a little plug? Yeah, y'all should check check out Guilty's charity show tomorrow. Guilty, please. Can you talk about it? Hell yeah. Um, so me and Janine, um, Whips and Chips, or uh, I don't know what our new character is called on Sunday. Tuck. New character. Tuck. Um uh are co-hosting a uh series of charity games that i am producing and streaming them on my channel um there were two on sunday and the vods were absolutely hilarious and incredible um and keith and, <laughs> and Liv are both in them and then there are going to be two more tomorrow so one starting at seven o'clock um pacific one starting at nine um the idea is overcooked but monster hearts um someone gave these idiots jobs and they are making them regret that day dearly um but yeah Liv and keith are gonna be back with more mischief and also awesome friends of the stream like void cat and um uh kiwi and new faces you might not have seen before like Simon Precious Stone and uh, Dash from Journey Punks. So check it out. It's going to be great. For all nice. of our like loyal TPC fans, <laughs> you definitely should watch the VOD because it's about an hour and a half of Keith, Void, and I trying, and I think successfully, breaking Janine. Because <laughs> it was because it we combined two things that absolutely she hates. One, uh -huh. wasting time in a TTRPG. <laughs> Two, making egregious errors in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Just as, she was so bad. just as a little preview, we saw actual zombies and we were like, oh, are those are those flash mob people? <laughs> They're doing so good. The the one for me was Keith made his manservant slash boy toy feed him caviar and there's an actual moment where Janine is like in like here like physically here in the camera and he's like it's $250 an ounce it's $250 an ounce and I'm fucking losing it uh, oh, oh but yeah sorry most importantly um our goal is to raise $1,500 for the trans women of color collective and we are almost at a thousand, which is super duper awesome. Um, but if you go to any of our Twitters, you will easily find the link. Um, and I can also put it in a chat, but you get fun stuff in the Gilbert College universe if you donate not during a game, 
and you get fun stuff in the game universe if you donate during the game and then also whenever we meet a 250 dollar um waypoint milestone um <laughs> we're giving away tpc cameos so if you ever wanted to gift your family a video of martha saying merry kwanzaa this could be your chance this could be your chance mm -hmm. i want that i want martha on my voicemail but Absolutely. anyway oh my god what i would give to have martha as my voice <laughs> <laughs> right? I need to just ask, Bestie. You don't even need to donate $250. <laughs> no, you only need to donate 10 And every time we reach a multiple of 250 we do another random selection of Even winner. cheaper. I know. It's super duper cheap. So Not just we'll drop is it that cheap. Link in here. You're donating to a very good cause. So. Hell yeah. Oh, we're at 280 Oh, because Jacob Ooh. gave. Yay. Thanks, Jacob. Nice. What a king. Yeah, we're so close. We're mm -hmm. so close. You could have Martha. Yeah. Or anyone from the Sunday show. <laughs> That's it. Those are your only options. <laughs> <laughs> no, or, or any other. I think everyone. I, I volunteered. Well, I, yeah. I, yeah. I was voluntold and then I confirmed that yes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I texted the group and everyone's like, oh, yeah. You nope, me. I did yeah, not get it. I famously did not get a text. The first time I heard about it was yesterday, and Jeanine was like, what? Liv would do it. And I was like, It was yeah, in the group text, Liv. It. <laughs> it was in the group text. You might have yeah. been responding to something else then, because I saw I saw you say, Ooh. It's probably <laughs> something that. else. <laughs> there are receipts. Yeah. I'm pretty. Anyway, let's get back to the game. We just are our. Monster Hearts characters. <laughs> no, 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 Reggie's 100% Tim in college. Bia is me in college. Yeah, we've talked about this. Mm. The good news Based is your total is at $1,000. So that's cool. Yeah. Wait, wait, what? Tiltify's at 1000 We only have $500 what? more, besties. Yes. Get in. We're saving the world. Aw, thanks, Tim! Aww. Yeah. All right, so while we're saving this world, let's ruin another. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Baxter and Nico Josephine, you are at the edge of the camp, and you're looking out into the forest with these weird rivers of sand floating above you, and the trees just, like, constantly going through the seasons. What are you guys doing? Also, um, Bolton is beginning to stir. Um, I think we're booking it. We are. Before wait, wait, John wait, can say wait, wait, anything. Wait, 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 wait. Does any, do either of you have, wait, he's already tied up, right? He's still tied up? He's still tied up. Yes. Yeah. Okay, then we're good. I was thinking we could tie him up, but he's already tied up. Okay, um, can I, it's, it's rivers of sand, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, then. <clears throat> I'm going to attune so I can cast an electrical force field around us. So then if the sand tries to hit us, hopefully it'll become glass. <laughs> nice. Um, this is Risky Limited. Okay. Is anyone helping? Are you pushing yourself or would you like a devil's bargain? I'd how, much is it if I, how much is it if I push myself again? Two grit. Uh, it sounds like Baxter is helping. How are you helping, Baxter? So I think um, Baxter is going to. Is this this is rune based magic still, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I think Baxter is going to you know take out a pen and start writing on people to to carry the force field around with us. Interesting. Okay. Just I've learned some very basic runes. At least yes. you know the the hold on to magic rune is probably a pretty common one. So yeah, it's something that it's, I... we've talked about that. Like Josephine has like taught you, mm -hmm. like real basic magic. <laughs> so I would like to to help with what I I know how to write. Nice. Um, mm -hmm. And Josephine, you're pushing yourself. Uh, would you like to change the positioning at all, or would you like to take two D? Okay, so it's risky and limited, right? Risky limited. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna do risky standard and push, and, and take an extra die. Okay, cool. Okay, that's a five. Also, really quick, if if it's not just if okay, um, this is an experience question. Is it that we gain experience if we get a bad die, or is it we gain experience if we fail the entire roll? It, you gain an experience if it's a desperate roll. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. But I thought you there was mean, a, not no. I'm talking about like like uh, stat experience, not playbook experience. Yes, if it's a desperate roll, yeah, you gain okay. stat experience. Uh, even if you like push yourself or get help to make it um, risky, mm. if it started off as desperate, you still gain uh, experience from that. I, I think. I thought there was something about failing a roll somewhere, but we'll revisit at a different point. So. Yeah. Um. So, uh, yeah, you're able to do it. What, what does this look like, Josephine? What does your electric force field look like? Um, Josephine was already had, her, like, just basically pulls out her rod, um, fully extends it, <laughs> and, like, a weird sort of desperate move, like, just runs around the boys and then, like, <laughs> to kind of create this line to, because everything has to be written, right? Everything has mm -hmm. to be drawn. So mm -hmm. I create like a line around everybody and that's where it kind of like um rather than like striking down from the sky above, the lightning kind of like uh clouds very briefly swarm around our feet, crackle to life, and then come up around us. And nice. so have you ever, like y'all remember those like orbs where if you touch them, the lightning yes. will go around your finger? It looks like that, but instead of like the purple lightning, it's silvery. Nice. Um as we run so my hope and my prayer is if we do get struck by sand this will do something <laughs> and um because you did get a mixed success um baxter's runes uh anchor this um electric feel to your bodies uh, so it doesn't uh -huh. like hurt you in any way you don't there's no like adverse effects from that but you see that the edges of the lightning are being pulled upwards into the rivers of sand and you see that like chunks of the of the the sand are starting to melt into glass and they are floating through the rivers like icebergs and from those icebergs are growing things not sure what they are yet When, um, when Jeremiah and I run up to the tree line, do we see this little... Yes. Uh, what do you call this? This little snow globe of terror? Yes. Josephine is... Emerson, a little snow globe of terror. <laughs> and it is That's running... That's one to... of your nicknames under the Wikipedia. <laughs> it's running towards the... Um where you guys left the uh, uh, what's it called the uh, ornithopter that took you Wait, what's running towards uh, the the snow globe of terror containing Baxter, Nico, and Josephine oh oh great follow that lightning I guess alright are you guys doing anything to go faster trying to avoid the um the weird things in the sand i'm gonna take a machete out of my backpack um can i call that a oof i guess a, a melee weapon yes yeah one-handed yeah i'm gonna pull a machete out um uh and, and like start cutting through brush as as we as we follow them. Okay. To make it a little easier. Jeremiah. <clears throat> I don't know. I originally wanted Jeremiah to like sell this situation as like not them, but it really doesn't matter at this point. So <laughs> bless you. Help. I would like to roll to help uh, 
to uh, get through the things. Um. Uh, well, so so I the. Mean, I I could be helping you too if you want to lead the way. Oh, I'm sorry, Keith. What were you saying? Um, what what are we rolling for here to to make an easier path for you to to get to the ornithopter? I think actually no. I think I think he's gonna let Tulula do that. I think he's still like doing like faux magic and trying to sell this whole like fake magician shit from Jericho. Okay. Um. Tallulah, you can roll first to create this path through the underbrush. What skill are you using? Um, uh, these are rough chops. Mm -hmm. Um, there, it's just like anything that gets in our way. Can I use brawl? Sure. Yeah, that makes sense. Cool. Uh, this is desperate standard. I'll do it. Uh, are you pushing yourself? Do you? Nope. Okay. What'd you get? Got a five. Nice. Um, yeah, you're able to do it. You're you're cutting through the brush. Everything seems to be going fine. And suddenly, the sky goes from black to a bright, brilliant blue. And the shifting in the trees stop. And all of them are in blossom. These are like cherry blossoms. You you feel the the petals brushing against your your cheek. And there is light coming from you're not sure where, but it's so bright. It's brighter than anything you've ever seen before. Born in a world just like covered in an, in the eclipse. It's as if this ain't right. It's as if you've walked into the eye of the storm. Am I catching up to um my cousin? Uh yeah, absolutely. What are you um Uh I think Jeremiah is trying to do something now. Yeah, I'm just wondering if I see them ahead mm -hmm. at the end of my chopping. I'm forgetting a little bit, Keith. Um, do we ever figure out the name of the uh, the the false wizards? They have like a specific group name. No, you guys do not know what their their group name was. But I think that Josephine would have told you that she kind of pawned off. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Josephine, but. Um, that she pawned off the uh, the disaster on her father's gang, who are called the curators. Yeah. All right, if the curators are the only name Jeremiah has to to um, pull on, he he is like all robed up, looking silly, doing the great cornholio, and he like pops up onto a onto a rock. He says, "Look upon you." Victims of the curators, welcome to your end. My dad is gonna kill us. What are you rolling for this? Uh, command. Okay, yeah. And I would love a devil's bargain, Keith. Please, thank you. A desperate standard. Um, uh, what's a good devil's bargain? Um, oh, the river's end. Wait, what? The river, the rivers of sand end. Nope. Not taking the hint. I don't know what that means. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm just trying to help you. Nope, you're not. <laughs> oh. What'd you get? It's many. A three. Um, yeah, you do it. People are like cursing the curators. They're like, what, who, who are the, cu and like other people are like telling them who they are. But, um, in the woods, you see something moving. It looks like a walking city, except its metal is black. 
like uh, untreated iron. And that iron, the, the colors shift across that iron uh, uh, like an opal. You see, this is the, uh, this is the sixth walking city. The one from Legend. Um, and you know it as Calamity. The Black Calamity. And atop it, it's just, um, it's just a mess of, like, buildings and, and streets covered in, like, uh, uh, flowers. They're just flowers everywhere covering this, uh, this entire city. And from it is rising these, uh, at its center are these huge spires uh, of, of onyx stone. And from the windows in these spires are just, like, even more flowers. And it smells amazing. But it's like, you, some part of you feels like you're the fly, and this is the pitcher plant. Some like deep, deep primal part of you is like, yeah, it smells good, but fucking stay away. And it is moving towards this camp with a quickness. Cool. Okay. Great. Not terrifying uh, at all. You Great. also see the nest breakers, the, the strongest platoon in Terrapin Gulch's militia start to break and run. What do you guys do? Uh, I'll, I'll say that all of you are together again. Hi gang, let's book it. We're out of here. We're leaving now. Where's that ornithopter? 86 O's. Cool. As you're as you're running through the trees, um, you can hear the sand of the rivers above you, behind you, start to just like geyser down. Uh, they're they're kind of tracking you, these weird geysers. Um, what do you guys do to to avoid getting swallowed up in the sand? Uh, what can we do? I I think I think Jeremiah. Um, grabs the rest of the gang. You know, he's just like, stay in the shadows of the plants. They can't, maybe they can't see it. I don't know how the fuck this shit works. Just hide under the plants. And he's going to roll a group prowl. All right, Jeremiah's leading. Okay, yeah. bestie. Nice, nice, nice. Is anyone pushing themselves? Can I, can I help by... We all, we all roll. We're yeah. all rolling. I know, but can I, can I... Out of plus, uh, okay, all right. You can either push yourself, push yourself, or get a uh, prowl. It seems Jeremiah said prowl. Uh, I'll push myself. What's what our... position are we in? No, I don't this know. is desperate standard. Um, by the way, before sorry, before we do this, um, Jeremiah, you can resist this consequence if you want to. I mean, if he has enough grit after we all roll. No, oh, no sorry. Before. Yeah, you can His resist. Command. The can, I, can, I, can I ask you? I, I, I'm a little confused about what the consequence is. Like, is this a direct consequence of us? I feel like this is a consequence many rolls in the making. So I don't know if I can resist mm. this. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is a clock that's been ticking with all of your partial successes. Yeah. Yeah. Could I potentially. I don't know if it's necessarily a help, but Josephine did have that um, that force field up. Right. Okay. So let's um, let's make it a uh, desperate great. Okay. Well, I got a one. Okay. Mm. One I got grit. a one too. One great. Two great. I got a five. Can I, can I resist my roll? Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. Five. Five. That's a, a partially success, at least. I got three. Three grit. Jeremiah. 
three. So Jeremiah takes four grit. Uh, you can, wait, wait, can, in, I, can, I, can I resist my roll? Uh, wait. I, I'm actually I'm actually fresh on grit. Roll go? So. Okay. I, I think sure? in a group I think in a group action you cannot resist. I think only the um, the leader can resist. That makes sense. Okay. Tim, did you roll? He, he got a four. Oh. Okay, so it's a it's a I partial know. success either way. Um. So yeah, you guys you guys do it. Y- y'all are able to. Um, well, most of you are able to to hide up under a tree. Uh, away from the uh, floating river of sand above, but Jeremiah, you are caught in this uh, this deluge, <clears throat> this cataract of sand, and within it are these uh, weird chunks of glass that like cut you up. Uh, take, um, I feel like shredded would be a level three. What's like a level two version of that? Sliced. Sliced. I think cut is level one. So let's do sliced. Raised. No, no, raised. Raised. Sliced, diced. Diced. Okay, yeah. (laughs) I don't think we want him to be diced. Uh, Jeremiah, you can resist this consequence. I would like to resist, yeah. Okay. Um, This is a... This is a prowess roll. Prowess resist. So you can pick oh, anything man. in prowess. That no, no, no. You no. Do you see? Yes, a roll are... prowess. You, yeah. You... Uh, On the left side, see. there's the vertical. Yep. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, oh my god. god. What'd you get? <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> oh I'm back, baby. <laughs> oh damn! You got a one. So take I five. five wait, 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 hold on. Can we take quick time out? Quick. Quick, quick, for a drink? Up. Yeah, for a drink, yeah. yeah. I have rolled five dice, and the only one that wasn't a one was a four. Bestie, how's your grit? Dead? You take five no, dice from this. How, how, much, how much grit do I take for five. resisting for two, resisting right? This. Five. Five? Six minus whatever you roll. Wait, wait, wait what? So would it be for four, his resistance. or would it be five? Six oh, minus shit. he rolled a one. Six minus one is five grit. How is it all the way up to six? Because it's that's it's how resistance six. works. Yes. Yeah. You take the number six. You oh. roll whatever you roll. You subtract that from six. In so this case, he, it's five. If my grit bar is full, stigma. does that mean a stigma out again? You get another stigma. From zero is there anything we can do one to help with this? <laughs> wait. So, wait, I'm sorry. That's so funny. <laughs> Tim was he like, He literally I went from zero. zero to all his grit. Can we do anything? <laughs> can he choose not so to resist? Funny. Because he would only have taken four that's if so he sad. didn't resist, right? Yeah, that's, that's true. Fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, in, in this case, yeah, I mean, you can take the four grit and then take a level two. No, no, I, I took it. I'll, I'll, I'll accept my actions. This is what happens. Are you Jeremiah sure? passes lend out. him a grit somehow? Like, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I have to laugh. like, it bothers me that you could fuck yourself more by trying to unfuck yourself. Yeah, it's really fucked up. That's why I'm laughing because I'm trying not to cry. This is terrible. <laughs> this is so fucked. Can I... Oh shit! So Jeremiah drowns on sand. Cool. Oh. No, no, Jeremiah, you you get out of the sand. You like dodge <laughs> out from under this. But I feel like the the experience, like this near death ex- experience, has left you basically um, like in a a catatonic state. Well, yeah, he passes out, right? That's what happens when yeah. you meet the end of your grit track. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think I think in this case, uh, Jeremiah doesn't really pass out. He's just like awake and like trembling. I think Jeremiah, you get like you you're starting to relive your days in uh, the Scouts, the Trailblazers, uh, which is another platoon in the um, the uh, Terrapin Gulch Militia, 
in like all all of this stress, all of this stuff that's been happening to you is just like bringing all of that back. How many stigma do you get before you die? Isn't it like four? four? So, who is carrying Jeremiah? Okay, okay. So, who is carrying Jeremiah? Um, but you are able to get to the clearing that once held your, uh, uh, well, it still does hold your um, ornithopter, but it's been caught up in several trees that have grown up around here. Uh, Jeremiah, it's... You, you, you sit right here on this boulder. Stay still. Us and the dumbasses got it. All right, dumbasses. Freely now who are you calling her. a dumbass? Because no, I'm not, not you. For sure. Not you, cousin. I mean, if I'm such a dumbass, I can drop this guy right into the sand. Nico? Do it. Drop Apparently... Me. Apparently, you are a capable individual, so you will keep that man on your shoulder, and we will move out. Yes, can, I no, hit him, can I hit him with the butt? Uh, yeah, I, I I take one more step forward towards um, Wall Town, <laughs> and I um, womp him over the head with the butt of my machete. Okay, yeah, you just knock him out. Okay, thank you. Wow. Huh, that makes it easier. Time for his fucking lip. <sighs> How do you guys get up to your ornithopter? Well, I'll start cutting away vines since I got my blade out. Yeah, Anyone has a um, bigger plan. Happy to help. No, Josephine's mad. She's gonna pull out her pistol and start shooting at the vines. <laughs> Just angrily shooting. Does that help? Me. <laughs> okay, Talula, what are you rolling? What skill? Me? Yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm helping. Brawling. No, I'm not helping her, actually. Never mind, sorry. <laughs> I'm brawling with the trees. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is desperate standard. Okay. Are you pushing um... yourself? Does anyone want to help? Do you want a devil's bargain? I'll help. Thanks. Um, can I also push myself? You can. Then I'll make it desperate great. Okay. With a bonus dice. That's four. Nice. Um, let's see what happens here. Um, hmm. yeah, you're, you're able to basically chop this tree down with, uh, Nico's help. Uh, I think that like Nico might have like, might grab like a piece of equipment from maybe like Jeremiah's pack and, and starts helping you in that way. And, um, unfortunately when the tree comes down, one of the uh, uh, one of the ornithopters is damaged in the fall, and so you guys are basically left with a three-team uh, horse hooked up with this flying uh, carriage. You can still use it, but you know it might be a little bit riskier. I mean, what choice do we have? Josephine, can can you keep this in the air? Found whatever. All right, great. <sighs> Jeremiah, into the vehicle. Whoa. There you go. Yep, watch your head. Watch your head. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Baxter, can you get him from the other side? Yeah, and then, uh, you know, I want to go check on that ornithopter, see what I can do, if, if there's anything I can do to it. Okay, but like two minutes. Don't have much I time for a, a tree felled machine. No, if Baxter, I can, if I can just, fix it. Just stay out of my way, okay? I'm going to fix this. No, I... Oh, okay. 
you all, you already got three. Get everything ready to go, and I'll I'll go see if I can make that work. I'm hauling uh, Balton into the trunk. Yeah, I think we're just okay. hooking Balton up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll I'll use my last item, my rope from my pack, okay. and um, like lash him to the back of this to make sure he doesn't get loose. Nice. Just nice. dangling. <laughs> No, you know, I'm, I'm picturing like the back of a golf cart, you know, just, like, uh, okay. making sure if we hit turbulence, he doesn't fly out. I was picturing like a, like a kidnapped princess. She's just <laughs> tied and dangling from the machine. <laughs> We're flying through a sandstorm. We're definitely going to hit turbulence. Nice. So, Chili's recently. Baxter just Finn. Chili's? In an airport. Bestie. Listen Baxter or Josephine, who would like choice. to go first? Um, I think Josephine's taking a, taking her time writing these runes because she's trying to get every single rune she can possibly think of that would help out in this. Like she is writing she's taking up all 100 what is 160 140 characters 240 characters she's taking all of them <laughs> she's nice. just taking her time writing this fucking rune nice, so nice. if baxter wants to go i think um i'd like to roll a craft on this ornithopter mm -hmm. details uh, can, to come you can see that it's uh one of its legs is actually the the problem and you know that there's a propulsion system in all of its legs so if one is out of whack, it'll uh, it'll move erratically, basically. Could I roughly aim at short distances, though? I guess that's what this roll is for. That's a good point. Uh, uh, what am I rolling? What position? This is desperate standard. Are you pushing yourself? I'm gonna push myself. Okay. Uh, would you like a devil's bargain? Um. I would like to hear a devil's bargain. Uh, the horse helps you. Sorry, the ornithopter helps you. Helps me achieve my goal. Yes. That's that's ominous. I don't know if I like that. Um, no, I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Just you don't know if you like that. <laughs> that's your line. You're right. Thank you, Alex. I'll take it. <laughs> I'm I'm going to a, a different bedroom tonight. Oh. Kick, him, kick him out, bestie. <laughs> the no, I'm leaving. <laughs> the spite in this room tonight. Uh, I was I was kidding, Keith. I'm not. I'm not. The that. sandstorm <laughs> and this chilies too tonight. <laughs> oh, that's no good. Um, I rolled a one. You You're... can choose to not have rolled a one. You know what? I would actually like to resist this. This is. Wait, wait, Are you so, sure? Uh, did we see what happened last time? <laughs> I did. I would still like to resist this. I will. I will tell you what happens, and then you can uh, choose whether or not you would like to resist. Um. Uh, in the distance, you hear screaming. Uh, th this entire time that you've been working on this ornithopter, you you've heard screaming. Uh, you've heard. Um, uh, the ring of metal on metal and, and things like uh, weapons firing off. Uh, some of them sound like uh, like cannons or, or, or fairly fairly large munition weapons. Um, and suddenly uh, uh, you feel Baxter and I guess everyone else uh, here you feel a weird sensation like a, like a prickling on the back of your neck. And Baxter when you look up you're not sure how you can tell, but you can see that um, the city, Calamity, it seems to be looking at you, looking at your group. And all around you, these flowers that look like pearl, uh, pearl chrysanthemums, uh, uh, start growing around your feet. And when they touch each other, they make the sound of a silver bell ringing. And there's something very, very soothing about that sound. 
Josephine. Resist, bestie, resist. I'm gonna resist that. Um, okay. So, can I can I describe what I wanted to have happen sure. first? So, Baxter's a little worried about this giant city that's luring people to it. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't want it to just wander around where they, we could stumble into it unexpectedly again. Mm -hmm. So ba Baxter's going to try to craft a little, like, almost like pseudo echolocator with another thing that tells you how close you are to it. Not what direction it is or how to get there, but like how close you are to this horrible city. And he's going to try to strap it to the back of this ornithopter and launch it into the city so that we can at least see where it is. Um, I... I don't know that you can take that complicated of a move in a resist, but if you like, you can try to shoot this well, that, tracking device at the city. That was going to be my craft goal. Yeah. Was to make this and and just not really mess with the ornithopter, just like launch it into hit go. Uh, yeah, I, I this is something that you can like a like a what's it called like a. a like one of those things that that biologists shoot at like um, endangered animals to kind of track like them. The tags? Yeah, yeah, like a like a tracking tag, basically. But mm. but you making this going into the ornithopter, launching it off the ground, positioning yourself over the city, and then dropping it is like a lot to do in this oh. resist action. I was going to make it simpler than that. I was just going to strap it to the ornithopter and push the ornithopter, in, uh, ornithopter into the city. <laughs> like, it's br it's got a broken leg. I'm just going to let it spiral in the air until it lands on the city. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, That makes sense. I thought we, you were, like, using the entire... Got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I want to use the so, broken one to track the city. Yeah. So you've not only drawn its attention, but now yes. you want to make an enemy of it. Yes. Carry on. Guilty, you don't, you don't already consider this an enemy. You don't think it already considers you an enemy. I don't. I would prefer it not to consider us, Keith. Also, That's what I would everybody prefer. in my immediate and extended area is an enemy. That's where I'm at. Christ. I really don't want to lose track of this thing, y'all. We got to keep tabs on it because what if it just shows up in our backyard? Like we don't need that. We're also, gonna welcome. Say a family this season. We're gonna get along this season. You can't Nobody have enemies and lovers without enemies. I want to kill every single one of you, and I want that fucking clipped. I want it <laughs> printed on tomorrow's front page. I only want to kill Baxter, if I'm being honest. Welcome to Stella Luna uh -huh. and your wedding party. You come in here like Luna. Stella, save me! Ooh woo. What? I don't understand what I have done to, to offend you all here. No, no, that's not. You have some it's introspection, not bestie. It's not your fault, John. You're doing great. <laughs> um, This sounds like a wits roll, Baxter. A resist wits roll. I think you're right. Yep. Uh, no bonus die. No bonus so? die. So wow, you couldn't you couldn't do that if you like I don't know, that's pretty rough. You take three uh, grit. As you basically prep this downed ornithopter and launch it into the um the city uh the city calamity. And as it as it hmm, as it reaches the the border of this terrible walking city you see vines just start growing from the ornithopter and eventually it becomes part of this like blanket of of flora that has covered this this weird weird city well now we know what's going to happen to us if we fly into it let's get going you know what i just really you you took our ride home no 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 just it. one one of the automatic horses. Yeah, 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 yeah. One of our two ride homes that we need to carry our entire party. You guys have a four. You guys have four uh, horses. Well, you used to have oh, four. I thought that's three. We have oh, a carriage. I thought that we could only carry three. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a carriage. Yeah, yeah. We, sorry, sorry if I, I wasn't 
clear. So there are four horses on the carriage. One of them was already busted by the tree, and yes. you sent the busted one into the big scary city. Yes. Yeah. Rather than can we, so okay, can we we carry could have done worse. Okay, but can we carry ourselves home with the three? I yes, think that's what Josephine that. is trying to do. Yeah, Josephine yes. hasn't fixed that, so we haven't established it. So some okay, people well, are trying you know to what? be useful. In some this are just essay, trying to start wars. In this essay, I, I have will, nothing that I can we, do here. I will have in this essay. I will heroically lift all of you onto <laughs> Re-blogged. my back. Reblog. Reblog. <laughs> and carry you out of enemy fire. Someone Move please clip this. Please way. do. Someone please, please clip this. <laughs> I would like to help. Oh, no, what I will now? help. Wait, now once, you want to help. Once, once. Enough grit. I'll help. <laughs> I have two left. We're fine. I have all of mine left. Do you want to be like your catatonic brother in the back of this van? Do you? <laughs> No, not really. I will turn this help. automated carriage around. Look, I'll just I'll just go take care of Jeremiah. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm, oh god. Nico, how are you? Ducks helping? into the back. Nico, how are you helping? Uh, how am I helping with her magic? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's um, not I me. think that I, I think yeah. I remembered one rune from when I s- borrowed <laughs> her book, <laughs> and I I I help, I I help her by writing an extra rune. <laughs> I grab just... your wrist. Yeah. <laughs> I grab your wrist. How the fuck do you know how to do that? You know, having a fiance has its perks. What the fuck is that dumb copper, bitch? You know what? Anyway, move out of the way. (laughs) (laughs) Did I do it right, though? Did I do it right? (laughs) (laughs) Are you going to replace it? Or is it good? I guess we'll see. Not replace you. (laughs) Be my guest. What the fuck are my positions? You are a desperate standard for this. You have I'm a help from up. Nico. Sorry. I'm going to buff it up to risky standard. Uh, but that also like... means that I level up. Nice. Would you like to push yourself, Josephine? No. Okay. It's a um, fucking three. It's a fucking three. From... From the shadows of this terrible wood, this this blooming, blossoming, blue-skied wood, a white butterfly comes drifting down, and it settles down behind your ear, Josephine, and you hear a voice whisper, maybe you should angle your wrist like this. And when you do, the extensive runes that you covered this flying carriage in start to glow, and it uh, lifts maybe an inch or two of, uh, above the ground before you and Nico dive in through its doors. And as, well, I guess who's, who's driving? I'll drive. <laughs> as, you, as you whip... The uh, as you strike the reins against these uh, these uh, mechanical horses, uh, the camera moves from the the side of your face to this side, where we see because the wind has blown your hair back, there is a matching silver mark behind your ear, to pair with the silver mark behind your opposite ear. Wait. <laughs> Terrifying little question. Yes. Um this this butterfly whispered into Josephine's ear, move your wrist like this. You're not the sure. Butterfly if it's the... itself does not have a wrist. Did did it like take control of her motor function? How do you know it was the butterfly who was talking? It doesn't answer the question how she knows what like this means. Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's the scarier part to me. But go on with your fucking terror. Uh, yeah. So you guys make it back to Terrapin Skulch. 
Um, y'all deliver uh, uh, Sergeant uh, uh, Bolton back to the, the knitting circle. And they commend you. They, they thank you graciously. Uh, they do note that he is knocked out. And they laugh at that. And they... Uh, I'm glad, I'm glad we're, it's, it's all fucking fun and games here. He wouldn't <laughs> come willingly, so... They don't know what happened you to you. You can thank the, the kid for that. <laughs> they don't know what happened in those woods. Well, uh, we're... <laughs> Well, okay, hold on. But we usually meet with the knitting circle just like out in the open in the bar, mm -hmm. um, the the town hall, as um, we call it. Old lady, this time Myrtle, definitely not doing that. Old lady Myrtle meets you guys at your homestead. Okay, she's actually She'll talking. To the barn. She's actually talking to uh, Papa Clay as y'all walk in. And she says, Great. see, I, I knew it. I knew you had some good kids with you, Clay. And he's like, yep, yep. And she's uh, like, <clears throat> and there's our associate, just like he said. Yup, yup, Mar oh, Baxter, why don't you go into the kitchen with Pa and um, get some tea and crumpets for our guest. And Jeremiah's just real tired. He, uh, he fell asleep in the back of the carriage. You know how he does that. He gets sleepy. Um, well, I'm gonna bring song. him inside. Hate the music, this song sucks. So uh -huh. is, this how you, is this how you've always dealt with incompetence around this part? You just lie to people? Old Lady Myrtle laughs, like behind her hand. I mean, you guys are thieves and liars and sneaks and thieves. Or did you manage to do that, Rat? I Travis didn't see the sabers. Where are they? Joe's fan, if you're going to chew us out, at least grab his other shoulder. This place is deader than a doornail. Play some fucking Tom Waits. <laughs> You know what? He's going in the hay. I push Jeremiah over into a uh, nice looking haystack. I'll get a record playing in his room for when he wakes up. What to bait him in like a moth? I mean, the well, least you work, can do is say it? thank you to your help. You know what? Oh well. <sighs> Have has Dad left yet? Yes. With me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Great. Josephine? What? You are irreplaceable. We would not have been able to pull this off without you. Damn straight. I apologize for our childish antics. Let me ask it's just you she what? was such a. <clears throat> let me such ask a mean you little. Before you sit here and go off on an emotional rampage, let me ask you one thing: Where are the swords? You don't have them, do you? So you <laughs> sat here and separated the family, separated the party, weakened us as a unit, all for a selfish, childish errand that you could not back up. You sat here and ruined everything because if we had been together as a unit, then none of this shit would have gone as south as it did. This is your fault and your responsibility. I pulled the, um, the correspondence that I took off of Candace's deck out of my um, out of my bag, and hand it over to Josephine when she is done. Snatch out of her hands. Uh, as a reminder, it's... just Mabel, you might want to take a look at that when my cousin is done. Yeah. Um, as a reminder, the note says uh, there are several notes. Basically, the gist of it is that um, a a monster attack wiped out uh, enough of the uh the the platoon supplies like food and water um to make it necessary to make five people uh forego uh eating or drinking for a day one day 
uh, until they could get back to the the city. And uh, Bolton's squad, uh, you remember Josephine, uh, was made up of five people. I toss it onto like whatever coffee table we have. So she made a leadership decision. What the fuck is that supposed to do? Are you trying to change my mind? It wasn't completely fruitless. Miss, Miss Mabel, you can go ahead and keep this. The notes have already disappeared. <clears throat> Good. Yeah, no one's arguing that, okay? We're all here, we're all live, aren't we? The next time that I tell you and your brother to listen to me and what I have to say, you better listen and remember today. You know, when Jeremiah wakes up, I'm sure we'll take that under advisement. And I head down into the cellar. I storm up into my room. Uh, Baxter and Clay come back uh, with quite a few more saucers than is necessary. And um, I think that uh, old lady Myrtle is hiding her smile behind a fan, uh, which she folds up and puts away as uh, Baxter and your father come in. And she says, well now, I I do believe you have quite a fiery crew here, but um, well, a deal's a deal. And she throws over a pouch. Well, I guess it's uh, several pallet. Oh, what would it be? Uh, I think it's um, it's it's a small notebook. And in, if you read inside of it, there are quite a few secrets in there that y'all can use to gain money or in exchange for <laughs> at money. this point. Uh, Nico slides into the the bar and back from putting the record on. I'm like, what y'all got there? Nice, nice. Um, and uh, yeah, old lady Myrtle just says, uh, just the payment for uh, goods delivered, and um, I will be seeing y'all soon because uh, I'll need to start teaching you whippersnappers how to read some of our knitting. If you catch my drift. After all, we are, we are associates now. I tip my hat. Oh my God, I can't wait. And good day to you, my good sparrows. And she leaves. And I think that's where we're going to cut it off for tonight. Tensions are high. Words have been said. People are slowly slipping into the darkness. That was fun. The beeping of my tracker, at least the same? Yes, yes, it is. Also, I should describe, like, at a certain point as you were flying away from the city calamity, uh, the, the sky reverted at a certain point back to its inky blackness. Uh, And the sun is once again uh, wrapped up in uh, the Dusk Serpent. How's everyone feeling? I know emotions are high. (laughs) I had a blast. I I put on my tinfoil hat. My favorite episode. Yeah? I'm concocting theories. Okay, 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 okay. This was the most... This has to go, like, legitimately in my life, one of the most fucked up things I've ever seen. What happened to Tim? <laughs> was yeah. one of the most that fucked was up truly, things I've ever seen. Like, I'm so sorry. I was Are scanning you okay? literally everything to be like, what can I do to stop this? And it was just, the answer is nothing. It's nothing. Tim, are you okay? okay? Oh. Hello, guys. You're muted. No, he was just no he's not. Really he's high. just babbling. <laughs> he's just oh. high pitched and his noise gate is blocking him. Yep. We well, Sorry. I love you, Tim. I That was nuts. That was legitimately wild. So, so what what was it? Like so You of, went from zero to ten. No, like math, math this out with me. 
I was relying yes. on so Tulula, you rolled a one. Uh huh. Nico, you rolled a one. Yep. Uh huh. I shouldn't have, but I did. Baxter, what'd you roll? I rolled a three. You rolled a three. Josephine, you succeeded with a five. Mm -hmm. Then I proceeded to roll five dice, one of which wasn't a one. Oh, boy. Mm. Bestie. Wait, wait, wait. So that, the highest one should have counted for you then. For no, the... it, no, no, no. I'm, I'm combining two rolls, but. Oh, oh sure. I see. His I prowl see. roll was one, one, four. He didn't fail his lead. Yeah, I, I succeeded in the lead and then I failed the resist. The resist really messed you up there. Yeah. I wait, wait, no, that, that was only eight grit then. Did you have grit from something else? Nine grit. Yeah, oh. from, from helping yes. me earlier. I thought you had... uh... He was at two, which seemed very oh, safe at, at the time. I thought he was at no, zero. Was at one. Seemed very I was safe. Literally, I was yeah, literally yeah, at he was one. At one grit. Oof. Because I, because you, because Keith took away the grit that we acquired. Earlier. Yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Because Tallulah critted on yes. the search roll. Yeah, yeah. Wait. So. So then there was three from us assholes, and then Plus five. You should right. have been at nine. Which is the max. Oh, shit. Ten. I thought we got 10. No, it like mapped out perfect. No, we, we, we oh, don't no, have Oh, no, you're yet. right. The 10th is the stigma. Fuck. No, it's nine. If you get to nine, we're, we're at a stigma. Yeah. 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 And then we almost have that posse upgrade that gets us an extra one, but we don't. <laughs> oh, God. Um. So I guess what I'm learning oh, is... goodness. Forge in the dark systems are brutal. Yeah, it's really. To be fair, I don't think I don't. Statistically speaking, that should not have happened. Just saying. <gasps> I'll say true. Like we I'll true. literally six fifty fifties failed. And you, you you rolled tails on most of them. Yeah. Well. Did well, thank you for joining us, us go, for another episode of the Did all of us go straight into that role, though? Yes, yeah. thank you. Sorry. I should have pushed myself. Yeah, I think all of us were trying to play it safe and be like, let's not max ourselves out on grit this time. We're See, all just like, Tim's okay. got it. He's leading the I, goal. Yeah, it was like, he has one grit. So I was like, I was feeling, honestly, this is a bit of post show what will well, be talking about the post show i was feeling like all right he's got it i will because whenever i roll straight i regain a grit uh... so i was i was i was at one grit and i was like you know what he's got it i can just go back to zero grit it'll be fine i should have pushed myself okay for Brian. everybody's outros say where you ended tonight with your grit oh let's start with oh your that's name. just that's just pouring salt in a wound Oh no, because I want to. I want. I want my innocence out here. I oh want it out God. here. Oh my God! Of course you do. Of course I do. Can, can, so, we, can, uh, we, can I? Can I? Can I, I know you want to end the stream, but can we each take one downtime in action? Um. Okay. Or well, that in that case, let's let's take a break, and then come back. Yeah. That's not fair. Just when y'all thought it was over, we're back, baby. You're welcome. Okay. We got plenty of time. We will Innocence see you in a minute. Part of downtime. Um, let's do a little dream sequence with Jeremiah. Um, I believe, as a recap, in your last dream sequence, you saw a uh, an accursed butterfly slowly being corrupted by a dusk serpent scale. Um, this time you are walking through a a bright and beautiful city all of it made of glass with a, a purple oleander growing on the side of its streets and uh, huge ash trees uh, growing at the center of its avenues 
And as you're walking these streets, um, you hear someone call your name. Jeremiah, Jeremiah, wait up. But it's not actually your name. Uh, when you turn around, uh, who do you see, Jeremiah? Her mom. And she is walking out of a, uh, a bread store. She is carrying your favorite pastries. What are they? Uh, crawlers. Crawlers. She hands you one with a smile, and she takes her own, and she bites into it. She says, oh, it's fresh. It's really warm. Eat up. Oh, oh, what is it? Oh, it's a little hot, huh? Too warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're best when they're, they're fresh out of the oven. Too hot, though. All right, all right. Blow on it, blow on it. So, um... So, uh... How have you been doing? I, I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. How, how old am I? Or do I know? Or it doesn't matter. Um, you feel like you're yourself. You're your age right now. Yeah. 20, what is it? 26, 27? I think we're 31. No, we're 32. Oh, got it. 32 okay. is what it is, yeah. Well, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I think I've been... Uh, been trying to take care of Baxter as well as I could since he's been gone, but he's kind of getting up into trouble. And I'm I'm not good at keeping people out of trouble. I'm good at getting people into trouble. <laughs> she kind of like. Go ahead. Tallulah's like kind of detached. Josephine came back around. She she bossy as hell. But I don't know what the fuck she been doing. And Nico, well, he, you know. Yeah, I know. And and she just like laughs a little bit and she says, um, do you remember that time when you and Tulula uh, took one of the automatic horses out of the the paddock and y'all rode it around the city saying y'all wanted to get on some great big adventure? Yeah, 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 yeah I definitely remember that. Tulula still says it was all me, but she just wanted to let it out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it's. I think that's a, a family thing, Jeremiah. Troubles in our blood. Well, we gotta stop spilling trouble then. We gotta stop spilling trouble then. What are you doing, Jeremiah? Why are you here? And as you turn back to your mother, you see the glass in all of these buildings start to cloud and blacken. Why are you here, Jeremiah? Run. Run. Jeremiah knows who. And the oleander grows up around your feet, and the ash starts to lose their leaves. And you wake up in the barn in a pile of hay you all alive um i uh the door to the crawl space pops open Jeremiah, that you? What's left of me? Don't be such a drama queen. Patch you up a little bit. Much as I could do in a moving ornithopter. How are you feeling? Yeah. How the fuck you think I'm feeling? <laughs> well, <laughs> you did try to fight a sandstorm all by yourself. Very brave of you. The rest of us are just scraped up. 
Jax and Nico, Josephine, they're all right. Oh, Josephine is acting like something crawled up her ass and died. But yeah, they're fine. All right, I'm gonna go back to sleep, Tula. I'm sorry, I'm tired. Maybe follow the, the dulcet tones. Nico, set up your bedroom all uh, sound therapy style. Sweet, that boy. Yeah, he's a good one. And I'll uh, walk Jeremiah into the house. So, you guys, I, uh, go ahead. As you guys like walk into Jeremiah's room, Nico like passes y'all. He's like, "Oh hey, just flip the record for you. Should be starting oh. from the beginning." Nico, why don't you hang out for a minute? I think you like the song. Sorry, what you cut out? Why don't you hang out for a minute? I think you like the song. Yeah, sure. I could, I could, uh, <clears throat> give you some sleep. Yeah, and, and I think Jeremiah passes out in the bed. Oh. Nico's like on the floor, but <laughs> probably just falls asleep as well. I kick a cushion over to him as I uh, leave and gently shut the door. Um. So you guys gain six coin in little secrets that you can use to get what you want. Um, you all also, well, let's talk about heat. Or, or doom, I should say. How much doom do you think you guys accumulated for this job? After? So, I'm just gonna throw it out there. I spent like most of my actions trying to deflect doom off of us. You Okay. I don't know if that's how it works. But no, that that's, was that's true. And then John sent a flying horse into Doom's mouth. So he could track that's him. that's that's a that's a cursed walking city that nobody lives in. All the people who are alive wait, 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 think wait, it's wait. a curator. <laughs> wait, that's not true. Just me. A queen lives there. Um, let's. Does she see. live? Does she? A Does she live by what living. definition? Thank yeah. you, John. No, no, she she does live. Yeah. She lives, she can die. Uh, <laughs> so zero heat, uh, I'll I'll read off the list. Zero heat is smooth and quiet, low exposure. Do we think we have zero heat? Yeah. yeah. Okay, a bunch of liars. A bunch of liars. My player. I said uh, no, nope. no, no. We threw the blame to the curators. Mm -hmm. So maybe we have heat with them, but we don't have heat in Terrapin Gulch. Um, was there? Did someone throw dynamite? Um, somebody did throw dynamite. Nobody saw who it was. The only person that they saw was a scrawny con uh, Kate Candace mm -hmm. Cadence. Whatever that bitch's name is, Candace, <laughs> running Candace around. Crawford. Candace. Well, let's 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 just read to to Doom really quick. Uh, contain standard exposure. Does that does that sound more accurate? I mean, it's standard for us. I don't. You know, it's unfortunate the forest bloomed, but I don't think any of our actions were necessarily the trigger for that. So None the, of our the forest forest actions, bestie. The forest is not your fault. Action. The forest right, is not the forest your fault. Right, the forest is not our fault. Yeah. So we were just there when it happened. Okay. And listen, who, so who dropped the thing that planted the forest? Listen, that listen, wasn't that listen, forest. listen, 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 listen. It wasn't. We no. we can sit what? here. We can blame the force on supernatural forces. We can sit here and blame the force on the curators. We can sit here and blame the force on a bunch of people and all the chaos and the snakes and all of this and all of that. At the heart of the matter, the only thing that we could be blamed for is the dynamite. And if that's going to be a two, just not bad. Do you think it's a two or do you think it's a four? Loud and chaotic. No, I think it's a two. Explosion. I think John so, needs 
Reparations for his actions. Reparations? <laughs> Consequences. You mean reprisals. <laughs> Consequences is what I meant. Repercussions. Yeah. Repercussions. Uh, that repercussions. too. I, I don't know. Get, hard. I get reparations. John literally does not. <laughs> Operations, yeah, yeah, yeah. no bargaining. I, I don't think that there should be consequences for that because we didn't observe any unusual activity because of it. We learned from it, but the trees didn't blossom because of me. We just grew more trees. The forest was already big, dark, and dank, and many. No, 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 no! You are trying to rewrite history. <laughs> Literally yesterday, when you, or not yesterday, yeah, yesterday, sure, let's call it yesterday, last session, when you dropped your vial, which caused the sudden blue, sudden upgrow of trees. You dropped a, a section of the antler. What the fuck ever? It had antler and blood. It was a vial. You dropped blood, bestie. You okay. and watered it, the it, forest it, 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 with it, wizard blood, and that's It distracted trees. and concerned the people in the camp, which I believe is a thing that you did. Okay, right, if, I may, if I may- Objection! If I may redirect the court, we are not sitting here and judging Baxter for his I am. crimes. His time will come, Bestie. <laughs> right now, we are show. judging Tallulah for her dynamite crimes. I and didn't the, do shit. And if the court would look at the numbers, she rolled a four, a two, and a three. With that information, I believe it is fair to say that there is some suspicion, some suspect, perhaps some eyes seeing a glimpse of fiery red hair, but not a face. And therefore, it is a two. All right, who's who thinks it was a two? Liv, that's what you're just arguing for. Well, I mean, yeah, but I think it's fair. <laughs> I'm, I don't need to vote. I made the argument. I, I also think Your that we, we, matters. We, we pushed off everybody on like different directions. So like the only people that'll, well, okay. What's the difference between doom and heat? I guess is the Heat is question. how much everybody in town hates us. Doom is how much you've affected the world. Oh yeah, no, we're a four for sure. I don't think so. With the what makes you say coming? that? I but I mean think about this from like a broader context. Like <laughs> this is not the first time blood has been spilled in this forest. If we want to talk about yeah, no, the growth true. of the yeah, forest in terms of absolute damage, just one scout going missing would be way more impactful than this tiny bit that I produce. All right, all right, all right. We'll make Don't it a two. Don't you so. You created sand rivers in the sky. Everybody shut up. Everybody shut up. He said it too. Everybody shut the fuck up. Buckle it up. Save it for the post show. We can kill each other later. I plan on it. So it's a two. Um, Cool. We did it. What about heat? Or are we doing that next time? Uh, no, heat, heat, heat is doom. doom. Yeah. yeah. What? What we were just arguing oh. about. Fistful of darkness turns heat into doom. Oh. Mm -hmm. I thought we had two shitty things coming at us. Mm -hmm. I did too, but now I still feel good about putting my neck out. Once again, heroically lifting everybody. Oh my God. My oh neck. my God. So everyone, Liv has a Kofi. You can donate to get her some fucking to leave for her sore ass back. God knows I need it because <laughs> I fucked myself up. So please <laughs> donate right. to my Kofi so I can buy a leaf. Oh God, you did. I'm sorry. <laughs> you forgot. You did. Okay. <laughs> Fun fact, I have a really nasty bruise on my thigh. And today before everybody was in, it was just me, uh, Keith, Alex, and John. I was like, hey, look at my bruise. My back's oh. even more fucked. So donate to my Kofi oh, so I can buy a leaf. Bro. Um, okay, let's roll entanglements. Y'all have zero to three heat, so who would like to roll a d6? Oh, not Tim. I'll roll it. I can roll it. Uh, Tallulah. Beat you, sorry. Yeah. What'd you get? One. Wow, this is not the day. 
This is not I the day. I hate twin telepathy. I Can we wake universe. up next week and have this be a bad dream? No. Can I resist it? No, no. The no, universe really said fuck us, right? Entanglements. Yeah, literally. <laughs> um, so... So one is gang trouble or the usual suspects. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I will write that scenario for next time. Uh, but we have that in the barrel. Uh, would you guys like to take one downtime action? I'd like to go to the hospital, Keep Can I roll for hospital? Do you have injuries? Yeah, I'm diced. No, you, you resisted the you dice. You resisted that. That's why you got... Oh. That's why you traumatized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm just traumatized. It's not diced. Okay. No, fuck it then. I'm good. Okay. I don't need therapy. <laughs> I got my record player. Fuck. Uh, TPC does she... not contone that. Please go to therapy. Thank you. And the record's been playing since the days she's been with him. A little newfound glory, anybody? No? Okay, fine. <laughs> I'd Any like to start other... a long-term project. What's the long-term project, Baxter? Don't you already have two? Yeah, he does. Yeah, I do. Um, th I'd like to engage with some of the leadership in the city. Um, mm. I will have put together a little written proposal and have my little device with me, a copy of the little tracker device that I've brought with me. I'm not bringing the original. I walk in to... I, hopefully somehow secure a meeting with the town staff intriguing them that there's this horrible thing walking around and i uh I, I walk in and make a proposal now i have been doing some experiments in my work desk and i found that the tracker signal can be used to triangulate using at least four points with the same distance metric just using the echolocation function i can give us a distance to the target in a particular cardinal direction if we build a gigantic okay. compass on the city. Stop, stop, stop. Please make the roll. What are you rolling? Um, I guess craft? Or I guess this is actually probably consort. Okay. If it's consort, this is a controlled standard. Um... Can you make me tell me what a, a bargain would be? So I think for um, for downtime actions, you cannot. Oh, great! Perfect. Get a devil's bargain, but you can spend coin to upgrade your um, result. So right now you have a four, sure. which is a partial partial success. You can upgrade it to a full success if you use a coin. I'm gonna use a coin. We have so much coin. We can definitely afford this. How do you use this coin in your presentation to the uh, city hall? Like, do you have models? Uh, and do you, you have, yeah, go ahead. Y'all, I've, 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 I've taken the liberty to procure some of the material to make this happen for you. you. You would just need to help supply the labor and the land and the locations. I will handle all the wiring, all the contractors, and we'll make sure it gets built all right, all right, under our all, purview. All right, son. Um, we do not understand any of that uh, technical mumba jumba, you know, that uh, uh, new age, newfangled youngin talk. But uh, geometry, this, I don't know what that means. But uh, this seems like a pretty good plan. We, if that m mythological city is out there, and we're not saying that we do believe you, but. If it is, then we certainly want to keep an eye on it. So, all right, um, get a work in. Uh, fill in six. Oh, sorry, fill in three of six uh, segments in a clock. So shall be. All Thank right. you. Who else? Um, I want to go. Um, actually, I want to train prowess in some way because I'm super close to an advancement there. So I could go shooting. I could go fighting. I could sit on the floor of the barn and try and pick locks. Do any of those sound 
interesting to anyone else? Would they want to join in? I'm happy to um, send it in any direction. I mean, I I'm sort of focusing on disable. Okay. In terms of, of prowess, but um, I'm, I'm probably going to spend this. Yeah. Um, but I might spend. Actually, yeah, I'll join you. Okay. So uh, y'all have like a, a bunch of rusty locks around you. I think. I think in this case, tell me, tell me if this doesn't like uh, go with with how you picture this. But I think that one person is doing the picking, but they are blindfolded while they're doing it. <laughs> um, if we're blindfolded, then I've all re- also got the tequila bottle out and two shot glasses. Nice. And the last person to, to, to open the lock has to take a shot. Nice. Naturally. Um, and I think Nico is cleaning up. But I'm getting like more and more upset. But I'm still trying. Oh. You challenge my, me like this intentionally, uh, Tallulah? How the. <laughs> How the goddamn fuck do you do this, Nico? I, I know you say just feel it, but I can't feel shit. I mean, also, you know, a couple years on the streets picking locks gives you some good, uh, good tricks. Oh, a couple Helps years feel on it. the street. So that's what you were doing on the street? Uh-huh. Mm, here and there. Depends. Uh-huh. I think I got one. You sure you just Did didn't want to drink? Did I get it? Mm. Looks like it. Nice. <laughs> yeah, pour you a shot this time, Sonny. Oh, dang. Thanks for uh, helping us out. Yeah, of course. It's my job. Well, I mean, you could leave anytime. Eh, I got nowhere else to go. Might as well stay. It's a pretty good gig you got here. Yeah. No pay, but I get food, friends, and family, so. <laughs> what are you talking about? We just got paid. True. Book of C- Secrets. Very true. Hopefully that'll rain some cash. Yeah, when I'm as old as Mabel, I want my diary to be worth money, too. Yeah, you writing a diary now? Well, you inspired me, so I've started. Well, good. I won't go looking for it yet. I'm sure it doesn't have anything good in it. <laughs> yeah, give it a give it a couple decades. It's not a it's not a good investment yet. The investment's here now. <laughs> what you you want me to you want me a Bitcoin on this next one? I'm always down for, uh, for, for, you know, you know, I'm always down. That's how I got myself into this mess. All right, let's go. That's cute. Then we fade to black. (laughs) That's really cute. All right. Jeremiah and Josephine, what are you guys doing? Um, go ahead. No. Uh, Josephine storms up to her room and at first pulls out like the um, trunk that she brought when she first like moved in, um, flicks it open. And I think it's like, obviously it's a magic trunk. So like all these, as she flicks it open, all these other compartments just like fold out with a flourish. And she just starts throwing all of her possessions and all of her clothes, all of her books, everything. She's just packing up. And um, it's like almost in this like, I mean, no, it is in this like rageful, like flurry as she's just throwing, throwing, throwing. And eventually she just takes a breath. And you know, when you're like doing chores and then all of a sudden you're like, no, I'm gonna lay on my bed and like scroll through my phone. She kind of like 
has this like heavy mode of like breathing, breathing, and just is like, you know, fuck it. And she grabs one of her novels and just flops onto her bed and starts like flipping through it. Even though she knows that she should be following through because she has decided that she's done and she should pack up the rest of her shit. She takes a break to read a novel and indulges in her vice. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. Um, Can Jeremiah be here in some... Or or are you just... Yeah, yeah, you're just doing this personally, right? Because you don't want anyone else to know. Oh, I mean, I don't mind anybody else knowing if they want to know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, What book, what novel are you reading now? Oh my god, I'm so glad you asked. Um... You know what? Yeah, written hard and put away wet because she's fucking over this shit. <laughs> it's got water stains on it. Yeah, sure, if you want to call them that. Alright, so I'm going <laughs> to indulge my advice if everybody's cool, if everybody's kosher. So we all need Jesus, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jeremiah, what are you what are you doing? I think he sits down with uh with Clay and he says I I don't know what the fuck to do, Daddy. I think I think these kids are gonna kill me. You got any advice for how to get them organized or together or I don't fucking know I what am I supposed I only got two or three more trips of me left if, if we keep going this way. And he's gonna try and train command at the foot of his father. Okay, nice. Yeah, yeah, and I think that your, yeah, your dad is, basically he's like, well, you know, these kids, they can't tell them nothing, but maybe, maybe it's less about telling them what to do and more about enticing them to do the rap thing. And it's like a trail off into whatever lesson he gives you in Command Jeremiah. Nice, nice. Um, And I think that as you wrap up that impromptu lesson, um, this little, this, this is part of the entanglement that, uh, we rolled earlier. Um, the door swings open and, um, filling it from top to bottom is none other than Deuteronomy Emerson. And Clay, her father stands up and he says, D, I know you in town. And Deuteronomy just like walks up to him. At first, it, it like feels tense, but like he embraces uh, Clay, and he says, "Well, brother, I got a story for you." And the two of them sit down. Deuteronomy takes like a huge thing of uh, whiskey out of his duster and sets it out on his table and he says you you ever get uh, you ever get in trouble from your kids and Clay just like laughs and they start talking just two dads just two dads talking and with that I think we'll uh, we'll close this episode of Under the Table's Eclipse. How is everyone doing? Yep, still my favorite. <laughs> I feel fucked and not in a good way. I feel just absolutely fucked. <laughs> I feel fucked in a great way. I have no I'm idea s- what's gonna happen. I'm so excited to see what that conversation turns into. Yeah, me fucking too. I'm still waiting on John to get his consequences. <laughs> there was there was an, a, an episode of 
season one that felt exactly like this. And I can't remember exactly one, which one it was, but it was like when everything started to go sideways. Was it the Blue Rose? It was either Blue Rose mm. or it was the museum. It was a museum. Uh, That's what it was. Museum. Yeah, you're 100% right. Oh, yeah. the fucking museum. Fond memories. Every season we gotta have a museum episode. You know what oh. I mean? Where it just <laughs> feels like, oh, fuck. I love we get trash. Really fight at the museum. That was great. God. We were on. I don't feel night. drunk enough for what's happened tonight. I'm gonna be honest. I don't. Same, Bestie. Enough. Where's my martini? <laughs> There's also a very <laughs> large, ominous man at the end of that episode. Just going to say. Keith loves an ominous man. He does. <laughs> I, do I just assume one. that Deuteronomy Emerson is like built like a truck. Oh, yeah. No, oh, yeah, Deuteronomy absolutely. Emerson yeah. in my ear. I'll tell you what I've always imagined. Very tall. Very built. Like just big old man um it's you know josephine's mom is from the uh, uh sparrow side so the, her emerson side is her black or her emerson side is her black side but i think he also has like the silvery gray hair like em, like uh, josephine does but like close cropped nice little beard situation going on extremely charming man not good for you <laughs> whatsoever. i imagine him like a full like a criminal. cartoon like a cartoon version of a buff guy where he's just like a square. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Built literally like a rectangle. Johnny Bravo. Yeah, square. Uh, Johnny face. Bravo's a Dorito. I imagine like. True. Um, That's true. Johnny Bravo was snatched. And for what? Like, like, yeah, I imagine like a refrigerator. Yeah. Like, like a refrigerator. Like Barrett from Final Fantasy VII. Yes. Yeah. Like but a with square hands, head yeah. and a rectangular <laughs> body. Just. Yeah. He has yeah. like a square like beard. To like mm-hmm. complete the look. Yeah. Yeah. He's just a layer of squares put onto one another. Mm-hmm. Like when they're teaching you how to draw anatomy, they teach you to draw shapes, and he's just a bunch of squares and a back to rectangle. Instead of a circle on a square for a man, he's just a square on a square. Yeah. Your dad, your dad, is, your dad is Minecraft character. I get it. Who <laughs> <laughs> should have named him Steve? Not in this good Christian server. <gasps> oh, can we appreciate though? Like the, <laughs> what's the opposite of toxic masculinity? The, 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 the non-toxicity what, cleansing of Cleansing masculinity? Huh? Regular masculinity? No. Me. Yeah, like aspirational soft masculinity of this ginormous man and like the grizzled Western star of Clay Sparrow who are brothers-in-law just like embracing over the kitchen table. Like, yeah, I think the term about their kids. Yeah, I think the term you're looking for you is. You know what? Listen. Occasionally peeing sitting down because you're tired. I think that's 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 the term you're looking for. Um, I'm so listen, grateful listen, I'm not the only one. Listen, guilty. Sit here, think about it, write a story about it, and then Josephine will read it while okay, she's indulging right. in one of her vices. Because that sounds like what you're describing. <laughs> that's your Change. father. Change the names, because, yeah, you're right. That is your father. Yeah. Just change it the names. It is my dad. I'm just Disgusting. saying everyone's going to... Mm, whatever. I'm also really <laughs> enjoying the imagining Liv's mom as, like, this little, magical, sprightly lady. Yeah. With, like, a gigantic husband. I'm, I'm thinking Goals. my adjective for her is firecracker. I have a question Ooh. for Liv that you shouldn't answer until the post show. Mm. Where is your mom? We'll find out. Maybe. I, I have addressed this in After. the previous post show, but if you want oh. to see Ooh. everybody else's reaction, well, briefly, if you want to see everybody else's reaction, you should sign up for our Patreon, um, where you get to be a part of the post show, as well as a couple of other goodies that we have in stock. Um, it's just it does help make things easier um it helps us out we you know put a lot of heart and soul into this keith does a lot of work in this keith is a talented soon to be published um you know writer so we should just you know i don't know support him and his endeavors which he's wasting on all of us (laughs) 
because <laughs> God knows every season we fuck it up. <laughs> Are you joking? You're okay. We'll save this for the post show. Um, let's do outros. <laughs> let's start with John. Please tell us about yourself. Oh, I, I am unprepared. Hi, I'm John. I I stream here every week on Monday nights. Well, not every week, but every week we're doing primary campaign. Uh, and I. I don't have an amazing thing for you to consider this week. Um, find a local charity. I guarantee you people are doing cool stuff in your town. Figure out what it is and contribute. If I may cut in. Yes. You know what's an amazing thing people can do this week? Donate to Guilty's Charity Stream. Donate to Guilty's Charity Stream. <laughs> Let's put him out. He's a phenomenal chat. organization. Nice, nice. Thank you, John. Uh, Alex, please tell us about yourself. Hello, hi. Uh, sorry, I, I screwed up everything in a sec. Okay. Hi, what's up? How's it going? You good? You look sexy. Um, I'm Alex. I am here every Monday when we stream. I also do my own streams on twitch.tv slash cobalt gear. On Wednesday, I'm doing uh, uh, TikTok bingo to see if TikTok's algorithm is actually good. And then on Friday, we're going to be doing a fireside chat. So like, that'll be fun. Hang out for that should be great might also watch flavor of love who knows <laughs> um uh, um i would also like to shout out um my parents y'all don't know them but i'm seeing them and they're great that's it oh you sound like nice people i'm excited for you thank you we stand great parents um they are love. Hi, um, my name is Liv, and if we're shouting out parents, I'm going to shout out my dad. It was his birthday a minute ago, but he's a Scorpio. I was raised by a Scorpio man. God bless. Um, <laughs> but my, it was my dad's birthday on November 13th, so shout out to him. Um, but yes, my name is Liv. You can catch me um, just lurking and causing a mess on the internet. Um, I do d and I do Pathfinders. I do masks. I do very light voice acting and you can find when and where i'm doing all those things on twitter over on uh living a day i'm live it's my day i'm living it um living a day but most importantly this week tomorrow you can catch me over on guilty's channel um yachting <laughs> uh <laughs> well not really yachting but you i'm got definitely kicked off of the yacht crew <laughs> Absolutely, I was fired. previously a yacht girl, um, but we'll see what I get into <laughs> this week. But what's most important is the fact that we are raising money um, to support a great cause, the trans women of color. Um, we are raising money to support them. We are so close to our goal. We have a couple of cool, fun things happening along the way. And if you want to support before tomorrow, you get to be involved in the Gilbert College universe. And half more than half of the stream is already part of that universe i hope the rest of them join sometime um but it's just a really fun messy game if you think we're messy here you gotta watch a gilbert college episode Eve, as a pc I'm just gonna leave it at that tim That's... tell us about yourself and then i will tell the crew about Dakota. Wait, me or I'm sorry. Was no, no, Tim, that. Tim, tell us about yourself. Oh. Uh, I'm Tim. I uh, do this, which is super fucking fun. And because next week we're not going to stream on Monday, which is very sad, I have a little surprise for everybody on Wednesday. We're going to play some 40k. We're playing all Eldar shit. We got a, a a couple of a couple of space elfy folks up in the speed. They're all over here. We're gonna do weird uh, space elf stuff and play 40k and uh, hang out. And the system is like vaguely reminiscent of the system we're playing right now. It's like half forged in the dark, half every other game you've ever seen packed into one. But uh, I'm very excited. I'm very excited to to start a new little thing with these guys. So come hang out and uh, yeah, in the meantime, 
We're hanging up on Guilty's channel on Tuesday because that's a great cause and they're going to do fun stuff. Absolutely. And I cannot wait for that uh, Eldar stream, uh, Tim. Um, I am Keith. I have been your GM tonight. Uh, you can watch me tomorrow uh, playing Dakota. And uh, if you haven't seen the last charity stream uh, last night, um, all I want to say is Dakota's cute and he eats face. Uh, and he serves face. So how is that different from you? Great question. Great question. Um, I hope you oh, come sure back. <laughs> I hope you come back on Sunday to see our D&D crew get into their own shenanigans. Um, uh, while we are taking uh, Monday off, we will be back two weeks from now with some uh, Deuteronomy uh, uh, contact. So let's see what happens there. But Guilty, please tell us about your, your charity stream. Yeah, well, y'all have done such a great job already. So thank you so much. Um, I'm Guilty. Um, the link to, what? Oh boy, we just jumped. Did we jump? Am I, am I seeing things? We just had a real what are we at now? Job. 1250. Let's 12 fucking 50, go! Wow. Bros. <sighs> anyway, um, this is absolutely a, uh, a, 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 a group effort. That's the things I was trying to say. Um, the um, episodes so far um, are amazing and they're archived on the channel so you can go check them out and the episodes tomorrow are gonna be amazing as well. Hi, Booze Bear! Um, but yeah, uh, find me and Janine GMing uh, Monster Hearts tomorrow in our last two streams for uh, the Trans Women of Color Collective. Um, uh, Fridays, uh, except for next week or this week because it's Black Friday. Um, I am on Q Times playing Pathfinder. Um, every other Saturday, I am on That D'Angelo's channel playing um, uh, Vampire the Masquerade in Phoenix by Night. Um, one Wednesday a month now, I'm a dark, sexy elf with big swords and I'm uh, still figuring out my witchy elf voice so if you have thoughts let me know and then uh Tuesdays yeah I usually am on my my twitch channel um but you can catch up or stay up to date with all of that through the twitters um at guilty cosplay there and also big thank you to our fucking anonymous donor who got us so close to our goal that we're gonna have to make a new one and it's gonna be amazing and we're gonna do so much for this awesome awesome charity so. let's do it uh, thank you again everyone for joining us and thank you again for to my players for letting me uh fill your minds with nightmares uh tonight we will be uh raiding uh vorpal tales um <laughs> Um, so have some sweet dreams, uh, show them some love from TPC, and we'll see you later. Bye!